All right, hi, welcome back. Has it really been three days since I've streamed? It feels like it's been, like, a day. I don't know. Time's been weird for me. I think I've just been... I've been very tired the last week, so I think that's why. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, welcome back again. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll finish Dark Souls 2 today? This could either be over... We only have the one DLC left in the final boss, so this might be over really quickly, or, well, the third DLC is kind of time-consuming, so maybe not. We might end up with just, like... I don't know, maybe we'll get through a lamb Lois and then end up with just, like, an awkward stream of the final boss some other time. I don't know. We're going to try to finish it all, but we'll see how it goes. Let me... Oh, load game. oh, wait, that's not the right game. Oh, no, I've already made a mistake. That's not the right game. No, it, I, yeah, it's just the wrong Dark Souls, that's all. Oops, wait. We're off to a good start. Anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully my voice isn't too weird again. It's, I'm very, I'm stuffy again. Or perhaps still, I think, no, I'm just, it's still. It's not an again, it's a still. That's all right, there we go. Why was it in windowed mode? I don't know. Is my face being weird? Am I all janky right now? Wait, let me load, it's going to take eight hours to load in. Or, well, not even load in, it's got to check for the server for 18 years, even though the servers are still dead. They're still super dead. Let me... Oh wait, oops, I didn't have the game up there. We wait a minute, the game still isn't up. Oh no, what's going on? Oh there it is. We're fine. It just took a minute. It just took a while. I don't know why. How's the Well there's no one here to ask. I should probably ask. Am I turn up the de the the game audio? I feel like it's really, 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 really quiet. I don't know. Hopefully it's not hopefully I don't screw it up, but then again, I don't mm. Probably, I should probably wait till tomorrow and ask Zay about it. He's smart. I'll ask Zay about it tomorrow. He's, he helped me set up most of my stuff, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We're good. Yeah, okay. So yeah, last time we did the no-hit Surlan on New Game Plus kind of spontaneously. That was pretty cool. And I know everyone has done it on, like, you know, New Game Plus 12... Soul level one bandit with no armor, weapons, or rings, and backstep attacks only, but hey, I'm still pretty happy about it. And also, I did a little farming off stream just to upgrade to this, because we did get it. Um, I think I said I would try to power stance the two. Unfortunately, you can't actually power stance these two weapons. I did try it. I was very thorough in testing, because I had the stats, I could power stance two Alon swords at once, and I could power stance with the Dark Majestic, or the, just the Majestic Greatsword as well. They, they just don't work together. I'm assuming, I think this thing is like a spear. It's a katana, but I think it's actually like a spear. Or a halberd, maybe? And that's why? But yeah, I did test it. Sad that we can't do that. But, we're, we're gonna use it anyway, because... I don't know. I'm pretty... I'm still proud of it. Even though everyone's done much harder, but still. Anyway, yeah, welcome to Lamb Lois. This is our, like, last big area, really. We don't have much else after this. No, I'm not gonna turn back. We made it too far. Yeah, here we go. And, oh, there goes our view. It's all foggy. So we could go this way. But there's an invisible tiger, and we gotta make the tiger visible. So we're not gonna do that, because it's not gonna be a good time. I mean, you can, you can kill him now. You can do it, and you can sort of see him. He's like 99% transparent. But you don't... It's not like Sir Alon where you get anything cool. There's no, like, nothing special happens. You don't get anything for it. There's no special animation. It's just kind of pain. Also, yeah, and we gotta go this way anyway, so there's not really any reason to do that. Anyway. Oh, he has the best weapon in the game. Or, oh, well, okay, I think it's the worst weapon in the game, but statistically, it's the best weapon. The, whoa, 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 I, like, I jittered. Anyway, yeah, it's just a matter of perspective, I guess. Also, I don't know if everything here is weak to fire or not. It seems like it would make sense, but I actually don't know. I'm leaning towards maybe, because we seem to do, well, no, maybe not, because our dark sword does a lot of damage, too. I don't know. It might actually be neutral to fire. 
Which is weird, but hey, I guess they didn't want to, you know, fire to just steamroll everything. If anything, it's like, it's a bunch of hollows who are weak to fire, who are also frozen, which should be weak to fire, so if anything, frozen should do like a bazillion damage to them, but I, that's not how it works, sadly. Can't go here yet. That, wait, can't, wait, no, it, it, the lever is broken, that's right. We have to do that later. Also, these are harmless for now, but I still don't trust them. I habitually kill them anyway, even though they're worth like a hundred souls. I'm just cruel like that. And anyway, it's a good habit to get into killing them because they become a problem later. Ow. Shield, shield man, please. So tanky. Can I repost you? No. I don't think you can repost them at least. I just don't think you can. I always you can smack them when they're in that state, but you can't like repost animation them. At least I'm pretty sure you can't. I could be wrong. Anyway, yeah, I feel like this might be the most, I want to say, I think it's the most polarizing, maybe, of the DLCs for this game. I think in general, people like the DLCs for Dark Souls 2. This one's kind of mixed, I think. I actually like it, but it does have problems. The main reason I think people don't like it is because there's, like, a lot of weird, you have to, like, do some retreading, and it's kind of, like, it pads it out. Like, I get that. I don't think it's, like, the best thing ever, either. But I don't think it's that terrible. It is kind of neat because it's like we have the snowstorm right now, right? And it's look, it's really bleak and it's kind of crappy looking. Well, we're eventually going to clear that snowstorm. So, but then we have to like go through all this over again. You just get kind of like a different look at the city, but it's still like the same enemy placement and everything. So it's kind of like lame. But I don't know. It is kind of lame. It's, it, yeah. I don't think it's that bad, but it is kind of dumb that it, it makes you, it's, it feels like padding. Though this is actually still a pretty big DLC anyway, so it's like, it's also, it's padding, but it's also unnecessary padding. I mean, I guess all padding is unnecessary, but you know what I mean. It's like, why did they feel the need to do that? I don't know. But they did. Oh, and this, this segment is a little, I don't know why, it's the segment, the, the segment isn't that bad. Well, that hit me through the ice. I didn't know they could do that. Like, it still messes me up a bit. Not as bad as, like, that one square room in the, the Iron King DLC. But I don't know. I still always, like, see this room as, like, a kind of a noticeable roadblock. Or, a, I don't know. Yeah. It'll get worse later. This part, it's, like, not that bad right now, right? It's pretty simple. But eventually all this ice is going to go away, and these little... Robed, what are they called again? Are they acolytes? They have a name. I don't remember what they're. Name. Anyway, they all come to life and they like start like stabbing you with icicles. Yeah, kind of rough. They also have like weird. It's not hyper armor. What the heck? Is that? Like hyper defense during some of their animations. It's weird. But they're like super tanky during some of their animations. It's very odd. Also, you cannot backstab these guys, and they have much more poison. Than... Okay, yeah. The... Oh, let me let me start over. The dudes with the icicles on their back. Yeah, you can't backstab them, and they have a lot of extra poise compared to, like, the dudes who don't. They can be kind of annoying to deal with on certain builds. Mostly light weapon builds. Uh, I don't think it's too bad for our greatsword. But, Bill. Oh, there's many men's. Oh, that's another icicle man. Can I just, like, burst you down really quick? Maybe? Hey, two hits. I thought it would take more hits, even on that guy, to be honest. I wasn't really paying attention to how many it was taking. Oh, Spearman, you were the worst. Yeah, see, they- oh yeah, they have more defense, too, as you can see. It's three- yeah, that's already two hits there. Is it gonna take four or three? Okay, only- okay, three hits. They still survive, you know, an extra hit. Which is something. I don't know why I looted that. I, I don't know why. We, we're pretty much set. We don't really need to loot things anymore. But I did anyway. I like to grab things. I'm a kleptomaniac. It's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, like, it's, like, the best way to do that, otherwise you get, like, the other aggro from the other dude. Ow. I thought I would break his poise, but I didn't. Oh, well, it's fine. I also don't need to kill this guy, I'm gonna anyway. He did, okay, he did the range attack, I thought he'd, like, lunge me. Also, it's really weird how they, I mean, I guess he is a hollow, it's still weird that they, like, swing their rapier like a bat. I don't know. I, he is a hollow, though, I mean, it's like, they don't care. 
They don't know how to use their weapons anymore. But they know how to cast spells. I don't know how that works. Which, that's actually weird. I never really thought about it, to be honest. How do they, how do the hollows cast spells? That requires intelligence. Like, they're zombies. How do, how do they have brains? I know that's not like a traditional zombie, but still, how does that work? I don't know. I guess it's all, I don't know. I think hollows, they're all like, reflexes and instinct or something or like habits they had when they were well I guess it's a habitual thing but I don't know how do you have the brain capacity to cast out of like a, a muscle memory or whatever I don't know honestly that's okay I have thought about this work like sorceries in general in Dark Souls confuse me I don't understand how they work I get it that they're soul arts but I don't get what you're shooting at people. Because you're not shooting your own soul at them, I don't think. Are there just souls in the air? I don't know how that works. I'm sure it might be explained and I'm just dumb, but I don't... I don't know how sorcery works, genuinely. I feel like sorcery is a, kind of has a lot of weird stuff in it, like... The crystal thing. Why do crystals curse? I don't know. Why are they connected to sorcery? I don't know. It's probably explained in Dark Souls 1. I just don't know. Oh hi, you're like a you're like the tree men from Dark Souls 1, but you're kind of cooler. Maybe a little bit. These guys are feel a little janky, but they're neat. Yeah, anyway, I don't know how sorceries work. I get how pyromancies work. I know how that works. I know how dark works. I guess dark is also sorceries. Maybe it's like... I don't know. I guess, wait, if you if you use dark, I guess you are like shooting your soul at people, aren't you? Maybe... Huh. I, isn't that how dark sorceries work? Maybe it's not. I don't know anymore. I know the resonant sores or yeah, the resonant hexes, rather, they do use actually your souls. To to, like fuel them like your actual like in-game currency but I think that's also like canonically true with your regular sorceries that they use your dark soul to do that but I think I'm wrong I don't know and miracles okay miracles confuse me a little but I also still get it like okay you're you're calling on you know the power of the gods or whatever you say a prayer and then you get rewarded with a miracle. I understand how that works. It is kind of weird if, like, the god is dead. Like, Gwyn is dead as hell, but you can still cast Sunlight Spears. I don't know. Maybe... Okay, you know what? I don't know how miracles work either. Maybe it's like a... Like, you believe the miracle works, though it works regardless. It's like... I feel like that's a thing in something else. It's like... The, the Matrix, or whatever, where if you believe you can do the, the jump, you jump. But if you don't, you don't. I don't know. That's probably how it works. Where it's like the miracle power is actually within you the whole time, but... You don't realize it, and you need the faith. Maybe that's how that is. I still don't know how, so like, sorceries work, though. That doesn't explain that. I don't know. But then again, they are called, like, Soul Arrow and Soul Spirit. Like, maybe you are shooting part of your soul at them? Or maybe it's, like... I don't know. Heck, uh oh wait, did I just... Wait, did I... Yeah, that makes sense. You level Faith, but you believe it harder. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, the Bell Helm. Oh, and another dude. There's another dude there. Can I just spin? I can. Oh, yeah, the old bell. Yeah, the a... the stats on it is actually good. I think it actually is pretty decent. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. That's in poise. And it protects you from headshots. And if you get headshot, it rings. It's surprisingly okay. Yeah, it's... It also protects you from, like... I don't know. Oh, no. The headshot stunlock thing was only a thing in, like, Dark Souls 3, but it still protects you from it in this one. 
It's just less of a threat. There we go. It goes gone when it gets a headshot, which makes it the best helmet. Yeah. That's Yeah. I do love that they did that. Because they didn't have to, but they did. And it makes it so much better. And more of these golems. How does this work? Oh. I was hoping it would two-shot them. Oh well. Interesting. Velsat's bell hammer does not go gong when you swing it. Which... Oh, really? I think the um the mace of the insolent, the, like the little the cleric mace. I think that one actually does ring when you swing it, but sadly it doesn't gong when you hit stuff with it. But it does like they do chime when you swing them. I think. As far as Velstats doesn't do that. Yeah, it has like the um. I might be able to show you the sound. It has like the chime sound, I think. I don't know how audible that is. But it makes like that noise when you swing the uh, the little the mace of the insolent. It totally does when he swings it, but not when he. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I actually did a bell build too, and it was kind of fun. I had the. Uh, Power stance, mace of the insolent, and then also bell stats, which, yeah, sadly no, no gong. And the mazes actually did pretty well too. Um, I mean they have they're kind of slow and they don't have a lot of range, but they did pretty good damage if you could catch someone with them. Ow. Okay, that was scary. I did Bell Helm, Bell Stot Hammer, and Dischime. Nice. The Dischime is awesome. I do love that one. I didn't use the Bell Helm, admittedly. I had like a... I don't know. It was kind of like a... Like a generic knight look, I guess. Oh, why am I, like, bullying you? You're not gonna do anything. It's just habit for me to, like, hit those things. So, the DS2 has a lot of good sets. Uh, yeah, I love DS2's, like, variety. Both in, like, armor and, like, just weapons and stuff. Even spells. Even spells, I should probably use my pyromancies more. I still have them. Yeah, I've had tons of fun just, like, messing with armor and build and stuff. I have like 30 characters across three save files. I think I've played this one more than any of the other ones. And I'm still not great at it. Oh, don't icicle me. Oh, he icicled me. Oh, I forgot that had a projectile. Oops. Yeah, yeah, DS2 is my same. I love this game. That's still a little trash, so to be like, yeah, don't worry, I'm the same way. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, there he goes, he fell. Hi, I don't know why I came in here to bully you, but I did. Can't really do anything in here yet, anyway. How'd you get the dragon helm when the server's back up? Um, I farmed... It was a mix. I farmed the, um... The guardian dragon, because if you f use the ascetic on the guardian dragon... There's, like, the, uh, the scale that spawns behind him that you can get again. And then, I did that a couple times, and then the rest is farming the, uh, the dragon knights at the, uh, the dragon shrine? Yeah, I just farmed those guys a, a bunch. Sadly, the servers are still dead. Otherwise, I'd probably be doing invasions right now. How does this work on him? Not very well. Yeah, they do drop him. It is kind of rare. So, you want to, you know, wear your... Your item drop here, and... It takes a bit of patience, sadly, but... It's not too horrible, at least, to get the helmet. The armor would probably be more of a nightmare to get, and the greatsword. 
But you only need 10 for the helm, so it's not too bad. Alright, everything is still frozen. Forgot just how much was frozen. Hello. Did I flip you? There we go, that works. Now we can pull this lever. Uh, oh, hi, it's another rampart golem. Uh oh. You got me. Okay, um. I thought I heard something else. I guess it was just him. I was getting snuck up on. Oh, don't heal in front of me. Do that. Oh, he dropped his lance. That's actually a cool looking weapon. Not the best lance, but it's neat. Oops, that's not what I meant to chug. There we go. Oh, and his shield landed over here somehow. Where's the invisible ladder? There it is. Uh, okay. Let's just get rid of you first. Oh, is this splintering lightning spear? This is a splintering lightning spear. Yeah, it is. That's a cool looking spell, but it's sadly not very good. It is very cool, though. Good luck hitting anything with it, though. Sadly, even if you do hit someone with it, it does, like, no damage. It's kind of sad. Still looks very cool, though. Uh, right. Pyromancy. I have them. I should use them. What did it just trigger on? Oh, there was one on... Oh, that's what... Okay, that's... It triggered through the, the staircase. Probably should have guessed that. There we go. It makes the dog so much easier. Did I drop... Oh, right. I oh, I forgot to equip all my spells again. I don't know, yeah, I respect and then I, I respect again back, so I unequipped a bunch of spells automatically. And I forgot to put them back on. I'll have to remember to do that at the next bonfire. Ow. Ow. I don't know why I'm trying to trade hits with this guy so much. That was not smart. Thought surely I would break his poison and outspeed him with my greatsword, but no. Fear is faster. Which makes sense. And now we can see all the invisible stuff. Which there isn't much more of, but now we can do it. Which is nice, because I wouldn't want to fight this dude while he's invisible. His weapon is very scary. He's also a parry king, if I remember right. Or maybe not. Are you gonna... Ow, he's caught me with that still. Okay, he's not as scary as I thought he would be. I spin? That worked. I thought he'd be worse. But he wasn't. Oh, thank you for following, by the way. I missed that. Thank you. And we got Skeptic Spice. Here we go. That. Alright, this area is a little bit dicey too. But not too bad. That was a very slow cast. Can I aggro? Nah, he's good. I always... I wouldn't say I struggle with this part, but I'm not very graceful when it comes to it. Probably, well... No, two-handing it won't really make that much difference. Oh, so many... so many... so many spells. What? Okay, he cancelled his jump midair. Just get rid of you... oh god. I didn't think he'd go in, but he went in. Not sure you can be too graceful for this bit, yeah. Er, that's a good point. Oh god, he has ice on his back. Okay, wait, does the flip work? 
The flip does not work. He does not care about the flip. Okay, good to know. Oh, there's the other guy. Okay, maybe I can do this. There we go. That works. Okay, so the big icicle guys don't even care about the Artorius flip. Oh, there's another dude. I'm not used to being able to do running attacks with my left hand weapon. I do like that, but... Between Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, I always forget that you can do that in this game. How many... There's like a bunch of dudes up there, too. Oh, and Orheim. Orheim is great. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about him. Right, there's, okay, there's two of the icicle dudes, and then this guy. Ow. Alright. Uh, oh wait, I have, yeah, I have pyromancies, that's a thing I have. That, ooh, okay, wow. I was hoping it would do a little more than that, but... That's fine. Uh, can I break your poise if I two-hand? No, I can't. I need two hits still. Alright, noted. Alright, let's go deal with Orheim. Probably one of the best invaders. I don't remember which one he is. It's fine, though. If I look back... Oh! There he is. There he is. I know which one it is. Best boy. He's a barrel of fun, yes. He... <laughs> I love that it's not based on your camera. He, he only goes based on where your character is phasing. Which makes sense, but it's also very funny. Did he fall for this? No, he's smart. He did get clipped by it, though. That's hilarious. I know, he's the best. I like how he's just like some knight, too. He's not even like a, you know, like a weirdo. He's just like a knight that does that. Knight spin? Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh. Oh, okay, I actually broke his jump attack. I didn't think I would do that. Oh, he has the ruler great sword too. That's also interesting. You get flipped. No, you you break out of the flip. Got it. I I could like poise through that. Oh no. Am I gonna get got? Ruler sword, dragon like armor, and I think Benhart shield. I think that's um the mirror shield. Benhart shield is I think is a little smaller and has like the um the elk horns on it. Do I have the mirror shield on me? I don't think I do. No. I only have the sanctum shield on me. Yeah. All right, now we can fight the tiger, but I'm gonna replenish my flask first, because uh, he's a little risky. Who is? Oh, is this? Oh yeah, that's uh, Glencore. The NPC armor, or like the the NPC Phantom and Invader fashion, is like pretty good in Dark Souls too, even though it's not like unique armor. They mix and match pretty well, and they tend to look pretty cool. Especially Glencore. Glencore is neat. That shield is also great. It's not very good, but it looks really good. Alright, let's fight the tiger. Uh, fire orb, sure. This is... oh yeah. Yeah, the hate set is peak fashion, so yeah. 
Yeah, I love the the Hayden Knight Great Helm, especially. I think it looks awesome. I think it's the Great Helm. Uh, oh, the Hayden Knight Iron Mask. That's one of my favorites. It's simple, but it looks so cool. Oh, that was bad. That was not a good fireball. Full mass. Okay, we do good damage to him, but that still caught us. I don't remember how to fight the tiger. And I better learn quick, because I gotta fight two of them later. Spin! Alright, he also spins. I think his spin is a little bit better than mine. Alright. Okay, he's not too bad. You just can't be very aggressive with him. Yeah, he's not too bad. Oh, more ice, okay. Be we gotta be by his okay, yeah, we gotta be like at his thigh. Got it. I was at his shoulder. He's going down very quickly. Oh that Hmm, that was a little early. Smack you. Oop, nope, I got greedy. I shouldn't have done that. And more ice, alright. That's like two free hits. I'll take it. What are you doing now? That one? Yeah, for Ava, really, as long as you know to dodge through and not away, he's not too bad. Need... Uh, stamina. What's he doing? One more hit. Okay, there we go. That was not... I thought that would be worse. That wasn't too bad. We can't go this way, right? No. Can't. We gotta go from the other side. GG. Yeah, GG. I'm still worried about the, uh, the double tigers. But that made me a little more confident for that fight. Though they are, at least, I think they're a lot tankier than him. Oh, there we go. And now we can break all the ice, sort of. That fight doesn't scare me as much as that run-up. Yeah, the run-up is a lot worse than the fight itself. Very much so. I know there's, there's like supposedly a route where you don't get any of the reindeer, but I've never had it work. But supposedly you can get there somehow without any reindeer. I don't believe it. I I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say that there is, but I've never gotten any of the supposed routes to work for myself, so it might all be japes. But I, I don't know. I believe the reindeer do have, like, uh, I want to believe it, though, yeah. There's, like, a map that I don't know if it's legit, but, like, it shows the snow field with, like, circles where the reindeer can spawn. So maybe if you can somehow weave through, like, all the possible spawn points, you can do it. But you'd have to, like, somehow know the top-down view from, like, where you are, and it's like, I don't know how you would do that. Because it's everything looks the same. Yep, we have to, or nothing will ever get done. And we're not going to do that yet. That's suicide. But yeah, Elstan is pretty cool. The Ivory King is pretty, pretty based. Sadly, we have to mercy kill him, but alright, that's fine. Vessel Shield is also pretty good. Especially for low-level builds. I like a level up, but I'm not really that worried about it. Alright, it's probably you. Hmm. 
I'll need to teleport anyway, so maybe I will go level up. We've got to teleport back to the start anyway. We can just level up really quick. There's not really any other stats that I particularly want. I've just been dumping everything into Endurance. Because I'm kind of set now. Alright. Yeah, just do that. Just more... Oh, we can get three levels. Holy cow. Well, three, just, just three more stamina, because we don't need anything else. I probably won't notice the three extra stamina, but I'll do it anyway. Alright, and spells. Um, can I do Outcry? I can do Outcry. Or Fire Snake. Um, let's do Flame. Wait, does that work on my thing? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. No, no. That's fine, though. Alright, I guess we'll do Outcry. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but we'll do that. We earned it, we may as well. I don't know if I can show off Outcry. Maybe I can. Not very well. That has more range than it looks like it does. It's actually a very good spell, but it's kind of like Forbidden Sun, where it gets like one to two casts. Takes up two slots. But it is pretty good. People often underestimate the range of it. It has like about the range of Scraps of Life, which is very silly. And yes, now the city looks pretty now, and we can actually like take in the sights. It looks very nice. It also kind of looks like the High Wall of Lothric a little bit, which is weird. Obviously this came first, but still. Actually is very similar to that now that I think about it. Like the whole like the area we're on is basically the high wall. Just before the high wall. Is the other guy coming? There he is. He has a lot of it wouldn't surprise me if Lothric took inspiration. Yeah, probably not. I guess FromSoft usually does that with stuff. I don't want to say they reuse ideas, but they... Okay, I guess, I mean, they reuse ideas, but not in a bad way. Or not in a lazy way, I mean, that's a better way to say it. They do it well. And this is... what is this one again? Little Flash, that's also a very fun sorcery. I think this is the North Order armor, which is also very cool. Every piece of that armor is like a mini lingering dragon crest ring. It also looks kind of nice. Fun enough. Is it? There it is. It's kind of ugly, but it's also kind of cool looking. I think it's mostly cool looking. Okay, and you come to life now and I don't want to get stabbed. Uh, running attack, okay. And now we have to go through all this again. Ow. Wow, that he did not care about that heavy. Yeah, I think this is the big reason this DLC is a little polarizing, but I don't think it's that bad still. I just kind of wish the view was a little bit better on your first run through here. Oh, right, I already got that. What am I doing? Uh, oh, right, he's over here. There, Yeah, there you are. We get an interesting looking staff here. Yeah, the retainer staff. This one's... I'll show that too for no reason, because not a, like no one uses it, because it's not very good. It's actually good for like low-level builds, but it's like... I can't really show it very well. Uh, 
It has, it has like a... It looks like it has like a Torion on the top. It's like a... I don't know. It looks like a Japanese staff almost. It's kind of interesting. And I don't know why. I mean, obviously it's frozen, but it has like that shape to it. Kind of neat. Please don't shank me. I'll probably set up a lingering flame here too. Oh wait, that's oh yeah, there. Okay, there we go. I meant to do that. Okay, he's only got one of them. And they are just really going wild with those icicles. I hope we can block that. Yeah, that makes sense. Could have known, but I wasn't sure. Oh, there's another dude. Um. Oh, he has no shield. God, he's just gonna stand there and icicle me. Ow. Okay, there we go. Where's the other guy? Oh, he he's shuffling on back. I'm gonna pop one of these. Why not? All right. Oh, I'm out of fireballs. Oops. Oh, don't do that. Okay, he tanked that. I should... Yeah, I should... No, he can tank through the... The Elan sword. Oh, and there's the... The little guy. No, please. Oh, retainers. That's right. I was trying to think of... It, they're, the, they're the retainers. That's what they're called. Yeah, the robe looks really good if you can get it, but it is kind of an uncommon drop. But it does look very cool. Alright. So many icicles. Okay, come over here. Actually, why- no! Poke me. Oh, he- the other guy tanked it, okay. He would get hit stunned, but he didn't. Okay. This is fine. Because he's... I need... I should use my flask. That was almost dumb. Okay, there we go. That makes things much easier now. Can I jumping attack you? Nope, you don't care about the jumping attack. Too much poise. Oh, that's right. We actually have to do this run. I think. Oh no, we can do it twice. We just have to like backtrack a little bit. Where's the retainer? Oh, there she is. Or he? I'm not sure. They might all be Gwendolyn's, because they wear their robes like the male version of it. All right, and then I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I know. I have three lingering flames. May as well use them. Cause there's a dog, somewhere. Oh, I wasted one. Okay, where's the dog? There's the dog. Ow! Oh, I'm getting wombo comboed. That's not what I want. Uh, mm, thrusting attack? Okay, that worked. Kind of. Alright. And then there's like, oh yeah, that retainer wakes up. That's right. There she is. Alright, another spear dude again. Please don't turtle. I guess you well he is kind of a turtle. He has the thing on his back. Oh, I thought I could outspeed it with the sword, but nope. I think no, there's nothing okay, yeah, there's just three chests up here.
Might need to use a repair powder, too. There we go. I think only one of these has anything interesting in it. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, Sorcerer's Twin Blade. And then... what's this one? Soul Vessel. Okay, that's not... Okay, that's actually good. It's not interesting, but it's good. And what's this one? Divine Bless... Oh, two Divine Blessings. That's fine. Is there anything? No, I think... There... No, there's nothing over here. All right, do I have the stats for the Sorcerer's Twin Blade? Probably do. I have an Artorius build. Oh, I do. Uh... Yeah, it's only a sort. Yeah, this thing is weird because it has dark damage on it, but it only casts. I don't think it casts dark sorcerers. It's only like regular sorceries. Oh hi, where did you come from? Anyway, yeah, the sorcerer's twin blade. It's kind of weird, but it looks neat. All right, now we gotta go through this, which will be a little bit dicier because now there's gonna be like eight retainers, but it's not too bad. And, uh, all right, I have one more lingering flame. Hopefully, it does me some good. I still have outcry. That actually might be useful too. Oh, don't cast spells. I need to heal. I might. I. Mm, tempted to tap off or top off. That's the word. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna heal really quick because that might. I think I'm in uh, the danger zone. I think he can kill me with one hit there. That, oh, that went right through his shield, didn't it? That's weird. Uh, oh, there's only three of them. I thought there was more. Uh, just lure him over here. They, like, flank you a little bit, too, as they run. I don't know if that's... intentional or just weirdness, but it does work for them. Might be intentional. Alright. Now there's just you again. Finn? There we go. Probably repair powder now. Just to be safe. And he's a butterfly. I don't know why, this is very satisfying. I don't know why. But well, it's very cathartic to light those. Anyway, secret door. Also something very... Well, there's a couple... Well, there's a key in here, but this is something else very interesting. If I can find it. Is this it? Ah, uh, the bone fist it is. Can I use that? I'd have to upgrade it, but do I have the stats? Ooh, I do have the stats for it. Scale. Ooh, I actually get pretty good scaling. I mean, not that good, but... I think it might be Twinkling. Do I have Twinkling Titanite? Ooh, I have 24. I might be able to use that, actually. Okay. We're not gonna fight you, because you don't drop anything. And you have many health. There's another one back there. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's a little... that's a little much. That is a good place to farm for the retainer robe, though. And a little icicle dagger. Which is, is a neat little weapon. It's... it's an icicle. And it does magic damage. Alright, let's see if I can upgrade the bone fist. I might be able to. If it's twinkling. It might... I mean, petrified dragon bone would make sense. It's not a boss weapon, but it is bone. But I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Oops, there we go. Okay, well, oh, wait, can I? Twinkling, all right. I can. There we go. Nice surprise. I thought it would be dragon bones. How much damage do I get? Tw oh, not a lot. That Wow, that didn't do a lot. I know it's best on a strength dex build, but it might get okay as scaling if I infuse it. 
maybe. It won't be as good as like a dedicated build, but it might work all right. You know, I have a, I have a character that uses a lightning one, and it works okay. Let's see. Um, is the scaling any different? It's a S scaling or an S scaling? Oh, and of course it does. It does 69 base damage when it's maxed. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Actually, that's pretty good. It it goes from 20 to okay, yeah, it's only 20 physical, but it has. That's not bad for base damage, like a base damage increase. We'll do fire. I'm not sure how good the scaling will be, though. Actually, that's not bad. That's that's actually pretty decent for us. That's a little bit of an upgrade. All right, and then okay, we open the thing and we got the key. I guess we can go. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, we just. Oh wait. Oh, I forgot about the thing. That's also this way. Yeah, we're gonna go this way either way. So I should probably show off the bone fist. Can I do the thing? Oh, I can like parry. That's sad. We could swap hands. May as well. And then now I can now I can kick people. Yeah, this is a very fun weapon. This weapon probably has the most amusing move set in the game. Not the best, but it is very fun. Not bad damage. The other one? No, okay, no, the other one's still sleeping. Yeah, by far the best way to use this thing is just to go, like, a strength. Can't you shoot later if it's power stats? Yes, you can Hydoken. Let me see if I can... I don't know if I have the stats, but I might. Oh, no, because I only have 30 dex. But yeah, if you power stats it, you can, um, you can do a Hydoken. It's really good. It's slow, but also even in, um, for, like, PvP, you can actually cancel it and throw people off. Amazing, yeah, it's, it's a very fun weapon. Should really make a, a dedicated bone fist character sometime because I have like a weird faith variant. But I should just do the strength dex version of it and it'd probably be really good. I know I've fought people who use it before and it's like very scary if they have some poise behind them. If they don't have poise, it's very easy to deal with, but if they do, it's very scary and probably very fun to play. Wow, you took three of those. Oh, he dodged. Alright. Wow, he's... I thought that was a backstab, but I guess not. There we go. Um... Oh, yeah, there's nothing... Well, I could go that... Oh, I could go that way, but we're gonna go this way first. Oh, I could probably... Wait, I think I can. I think I can do the frigid outskirts right now. Maybe I should get that over with. Because that's going to be the biggest wall. That's our last real challenge, is the frigid outskirts. The rest I'm not too worried about. Oh, I should probably kill this dude. I might regret... I like how his throw is, like, early. The animation doesn't quite work. These guys do look very cool, though. And I'm not intentionally making ice puns. I just talk like that. Alright. I outcry these guys? That might be kind of good. This is gonna work. It might not target him. Oh, he might also slap me with his spear. Let's see. No, it doesn't actually target him. I guess I have to be locked on for that to work. Oh, please have mercy. Okay, there we go. We got him. Yeah, I was kind of thinking it worked that way, where you have to lock on for the fire to actually target them a little bit, but no oh well. Alright. 
let's do I think we can do this so let's just do it let me see what I got for items actually gonna take the dragon head off I have 18 radiant life gems I'm gonna do that three mushrooms I'm gonna do that too all right how much repair powder do I, do I have enough repair powder I do just in case all right Okay, let's try this. Okay, time for the worst part of this game. Let me get, let me hydrate really quick. Okay, so uh, this is very pleasant to look at. I believe we go this way. This leads us to a little graveyard. I think. Or maybe not. Oh no. Oh no, there's the graveyard. There it is. Okay. Yeah, so usually I would summon Abyss Fever, because she can heal a lot. She can she can take good care of herself. She's very tanky. Uh she casts healing miracles and she casts them on you too. But uh we'll be a big boy and not try to summon. I don't know why. You don't get anything there's no bonus points for not summoning, but we're gonna just try to not summon. Yeah. This area is problem. Actually, I like I kinda like the basic idea of this zone. It's just the execution I think is a little bad. Also, there's a this is an awesome looking hat. We can't show it off because we have the dragon head on. But this is something I wanted since like it, the game came out and I saw Lucas heal. That's just her hat without the mask, and it looks amazing. I love it so much. It's my favorite hat. Anyway, frigid outskirts. Why is this place so bad? Well, one, it's super boring to look at because of the snowstorm. It's actually, I think it looks kind of, it's, you know, it's a big old giant snow field. It's not too bad looking like this. It's kind of pretty in a way. But then you have the snowstorm, and it, it's just a whiteout. It's like, it looks bad. And then also there's reindeer, and they have... Questionable lingering hurt boxes. They cast spells. They have many health. Uh, they're very, very tanky. Uh, they're basically all mini bosses. They don't really like to get hit stun. Throw lightning at you. Uh, and they in they infinitely respawn. Oh, where the hell am I? Oh, I overshot it. No, I want to go in here and hide. How many block stones do I have? You know what? I have enough block stones to spare, and we're going to turn this on. Because this is a little healing spring. Which is a neat little thing, but it's a thing. It's a thing it is. Oh yeah, it heals you. Kind of slowly, but not that slowly. Okay, did he just break through the wall? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm body blocked. I'm body blocked. Oh, no, 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 I might die here. Are there two of them? I think there are two of them now. I think it's this way. Okay, so you can't see the sun when uh, there's a snowstorm. Ow. There's two of them. There's at least two. There might be three of them now. Oh my god, I hate them. I hate them so much. There's there's, there's three of them. Oh, there's three of them. There was three of them. One was... There's a one... Okay. There had to be three of them. Because I saw lightning shooting from nowhere. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah... So there's you can see the sunlight through the snowstorm. But uh that's actually not where you want to go. I mean it is, but it isn't. That is where the boss is. But you have to like go kind of around. It's like an L-shaped path. So if you go if you follow the sun, you're gonna run off a cliff. And usually following the buildings works a lot better. You usually. In unless you get all the reindeer on you. Then not so much. But you can't really do anything about that. You just kind of have to really know how to dodge them, and I'm not that good at it. The area is kind of funny, especially now, though, because it's very, like... Oh, God, I can't... Where is the thing? Am I going the right way? I might be going the right way. I think I see it. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, where am I? Oh, wait. I was going... Okay, it's over here. 
Anyway, this area is kind of funny, especially now, given... It's this big open area with ruins everywhere. It's very... It's very Elden Ring. It's very much like that. Obviously, it's underdeveloped in comparison, but it is... Oh god, reindeer. Oh, uh, I hate that charge attack. The weird... It, like, lingers. It's so hard to dodge. I, I know you can dodge it. I don't know how. Oh my god. Please, reindeer. I gotta, like, l watch behind me. Okay, I got... I dodged it that time. I just hope I'm still going the right way. Nope, I'm not. I... Uh, uh, I got way off course. Oh, reindeer, please. Oh, there's two of them, isn't there? Oh my god, the freaking lightning combo. Oh god, nope, couldn't do it. Okay, I, I guess they have a lingering lightning attack that's, like, delayed. I, I think I forgot about that. I think there was only two of them last time. But they had, like, that weird delayed lightning that got me. I thought there was more, but no. Alright, I don't know where's my dragon head. I should probably just put that on my bar. Because we're going to die a lot. And honestly, you could fight the reindeer, but I feel like that's actually a lot more risky. Because they're, they're so tanky, they're kind of jank to fight, they got weird attacks. Uh, they also respawn pretty much instantaneously. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's honestly safer to run through, as bad as this looks. Alright. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I don't know anymore. But yeah, I think what I was saying was, in a weird kind of way, it's almost as like a, a very old test of if this engine can handle like big open areas like this, I feel like. I don't know. I do wish it was, this area was better done, because I think it's a neat idea. It could be a, you know, a pretty unique, interesting area. Admittedly, I don't know, can I, what if I stand still? Nope, that doesn't work. I thought it might not spawn if I stand still, but nope. Anyway, as I'm trying to compliment this area, ow, oh, really, dude? I hate these things so much, they're the worst. This is the worst enemy ever. Anyway, as I was trying to say before I got reindeer uh, I think this area had potential. Oh my god, I got turned around again. So bad. I don't know what else they would have done with it, because it's like... This area could... It'd be very easy for this area to be super boring. Because there's not a lot here. But I get why they put the reindeer like they did. But it doesn't... It's not fun. At all. It's just not a good time. Uh, shoot, I don't remember where it is. I don't want the snowstorm to break up. Oh god, he's coming at me. Nope, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna pray that this is the right direction. Nope, there's another reindeer directly in front of me. He just spawned there. Oh god. We're just gonna try to serpentine a little bit to dodge their lightning. Oh god, oh, that's a dude with the the avil- the, Ooh boy, we're dead. That's a, that's a double avalon, man. Oh my god, go away. Let me heal, please, 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 please. Double heal. I see their lingering lightning balls. Oh my god, the freaking reindeer. I hate you so much. I think we're going the right way. Reindeer, stop charging, please. I can't even get a thought out. Anyway, I was saying, like, this area could have been good. It's a neat idea for a unique area. Please, reindeer, for the love of god. I don't know what else they could have done to make it not boring. Or not super, well, like this, and I died again. But, this is not the way to do this zone. Or how to make this zone. This was not a good idea. But it could have been. But, I don't know what else they would have done. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna try again. I wonder if I should use a human effigy to get our health back up. Maybe I should. It might not matter though. Maybe I should just beeline towards the cliff and try it that way, because this isn't working out. Maybe I should just walk towards the sun and then hug the cliff. Maybe that's what I should do. 
This isn't. Ha this has not been going well. But maybe I can try it this way. Oh, also a funny strat you can do here that I will try to talk about while I'm going through this nightmare. Let me go to the house first. That's like pretty safe. I'm gonna go towards the house and then I'll go towards the delight. Maybe that's bad. Oh well, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. You know what? I say that we're gonna try this route again because this is the route that I always take. I feel like we're gonna get more reindeer if we go that way. To be honest, we're gonna do this at least one more time. Anyway, one. Okay, I actually saw this as a suggestion, but it's not a good suggestion. But I've seen people suggest using chameleon to get through this zone. But. And it, it, it works, sort of, but not really. So, the idea for using Chameleon to get through this zone, and again, this does not work, don't try it, unless you want to giggle, um, is you turn on Chameleon, and you only move when it's light out. It's in the reindeer roam spawn, and then when the snowstorm hits, you stop moving. Um, the problem is, is that the reindeer still spawn when you're a box or whatever you turn into. And when the snowstorm lifts, you'll see them there, but they won't see you. The problem is, is that if you move, they will immediately know right where you are. And they won't be fooled by your disguise anymore if you move even a little bit. So basically, the first snowstorm that hits, you're going to have a reindeer no matter what. So it doesn't really work. It's just, I don't know, I don't know why people suggest that. There's n it doesn't actually do anything. Oh no, 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 reindeer, please, reindeer, please. Alright, it's a straight shot from here, let's just go. Maybe I should kill the reindeer in the house. Because there is the healing spring there. Maybe I should try that next time if we die here, which we probably will. God, reindeer, I hate that charge move so much. This is the worst thing they can do to you. Let's try to heal really quick, because we need it. Oh, I see another one, don't- really, dude? That's reindeer number two. Um, oh my god, I hate it so much. The stupid lingering lightning balls are so annoying too. Hate these things. Alright. So what I could do, I could summon, I could summon like the abyss, because the thing about the summons is they do draw aggro pretty well. But maybe, maybe I'll try to kill that one in the house there with the healing spring. Because that would save my Estus, hopefully. And that would get one reindeer off my back. Maybe I should try that. If we're not going to try to summon, I, I might resort to summoning. But, mm, we'll try to kill the one in the house. Uh, all right, my dragon head. That's right. I forgot to do that. That helps a little bit. That's good stats, and it looks nice. All right, I forget where the oh yeah, right, it's this way. I think. Yep, there it is. Okay. I'm just gonna. We're gonna try to kill the dude at the house. No storm, please. There we go. Maybe it'll make things better, or maybe I'll just die trying to fight him. It's very possible. Alright. We're almost there. Oh, I lost all my souls, too. Oh, I did lose all my... Oh, oh well. I don't think I had that many. I actually wasn't paying attention at all. Uh, okay, we're gonna wait this out just to give ourselves some more time. What level am I? 207? Yeah, I'm not really worried. I lose some souls. I lose some souls. It's fine. We're just gonna wait for the snowstorm to blow over. The other annoying thing about the snowstorm is I don't think it has a set timer. It's like sometimes it blows over really quick, sometimes it doesn't, and I don't know why. It's very odd. Yeah, look how exciting this zone is to look at when there's a snowstorm. It's... I don't... Uh, I don't like it. I think there's like a... I don't, I don't know. Alright, just keep going forward. Go away, Hollow. It's such a long run. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Yep, here it comes. Here comes the reindeer. From somewhere. 
Probably in front of us, yep. We kind of dodged that somehow. Yeah, the other... The other thing about the reindeer is they have map-wide aggro. So you're not really going to lose one. It's not like a thing. Oh my god, I hate it. Is that like a lightning shotgun? Okay, go here. Healing spring. Hopefully this works and we don't get stuck. I think... Oh, the problem with the... Wow, that came out faster than I thought it would. What are you doing? I can't move. God, I hate these enemies so much. Alright, I guess we're gonna waste our SS after all. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Go away, hollows. God, hollows. He got me hit by that. There's still another hollow. What is he doing? Anyway, yeah, what I was saying was I think the healing spring might be a bad idea because it might make us wet. Which means we're gonna take more lightning damage. We did- whoa, we're doing that much damage to the reindeer? Are they weak to dark? That's a lot of da- that's a lot more than I thought it would get. Maybe I should just kill- that's not bad, okay. Maybe I should just kill the reindeer, we actually do good damage against them. I'm used to them taking a lot longer to kill than that. Alright. Okay, maybe I should just kill them then. Maybe they are weak to dark. We don't even do that much damage. I mean, it's only 84 with the dark damage. Alright, we're gonna wait out the snowstorm again. Give ourselves some more time. Oh man, the other problem with zone is that the life ring is here. Yeah, the ring of the living is here. That's what I meant. And if I'm not using the white ring, I'm using the ring of living on every character. I have to go through the zone every time I make a new character to have fashion. And boy, is it painful. Alright, let's try to go here. And we'll try to kill the reindeer. Because we do good damage. It might not be too bad. It might actually make things easier if we're doing this much damage to them. I guess we'll find out. I know at this cliff that you tend to get more than one. Where is he? I can't see him. I couldn't target him. He's doing his Nova. Alright, got it. Alright, that's fine. Just gotta wait for an attack I can actually punish that one and not get kicked. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, that was a. Tr okay, I thought he'd. I don't like these enemies, they're the worst. What's he doing now, Char. Okay, come on now, that wasn't fair. That wasn't even remotely fair. And he does the kick, because I thought he'd. Oh, these enemies are the worst. I hate them so much. Did I get a second one? I'm just gonna pop a Radiant. Are we gonna get another one right now? After we just killed one? Yes, we are! Immediate another one. No delay. No delay at all. Not even a little bit of one. There's a Rampart Golem. I can't see anything. I think it's this way. I think it's this way. There's another freaking reindeer. Dodge the lightning. Oh, here it is? Question mark? No? Oh my god, reindeer, fuck off. I hate you so much. You were the worst enemy ever. I can't dodge. I don't know why. I couldn't fucking move. And yeah, we just got two of them there. We were almost there. But, uh... No. Yeah, so they can just go right into their little charge move and then hit you with pretty much no warning, which is very cool. Oh, uh, I love that. That's my favorite thing. My favorite kind of attack, the no wind-up ones. And they don't have to be at range, they'll just do it when they're right in front of you. Uh, kind of annoying. And, uh, I can tell I'm getting salty. But, I mean, it's frigid outskirts, I think that's... I think everyone gets salty here. Try this again. Alright, killing the one worked. Killing the second one, not so much, it just immediately showed back up. Very frustrating. And I couldn't lead him over to the house because there's a rampart golem in there. In the right way. Not really. I was off. But I don't know if killing the, the second one was really worth it. 
we just got another one right after. Alright, let's try this again. Wait for the snowstorm to pass. Because, uh, yep. Yeah, they only spawn during the snowstorms. Oh, okay, I, uh, hi. You, alright, great, here we go. I guess we gotta fight another one. These enemies are so horrible. I hate them. I hate, it. I hate their charge move. They'd actually be pretty tolerable without that charge move. But they have that charge move, so no. This enemy does not get a pass. Like, the, the, ugh. Dude, we did hit stun him. Not that it changes anything, because now we have to go through that again. Because they just respawn forever. It's just chug. I don't know, man. God, this place is the worst. Alright, well, bad timing. Here comes another one. Yep, I think I already hear it. Nope. You can hear them. Oh, I couldn't even hear that one, actually. Never mind. I saw it before I heard that. Well, great. That's fun. I gotta listen for his lightning blast. My god, the charge. I hate it. It's so dumb. Doing it again? Yep. Oh no, he's doing his lightning horns. Oh, is he charging? I hear him doing something. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. Alright. Try this again. Oh, that... That charge move. And the kick. It wouldn't be an annoying horse enemy without the horse kick. There's the stupid little hollow. I don't know what... I can't... Oh my god. I can't see. It's... It's too snowy. Can't see what's happening. And there's three little men. Oh my god. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's the worst. Hey, we hit something again. Alright, that's two reindeer down. There's only eight more to go. I'm gonna pop an effigy really quick. We made it to the healing spring. And now we gotta wait for the snowstorm again. The best mechanic ever. Yay. There's also a boss after this, and there's no checkpoint. So if we die to the boss, we have to do this all over again. Even if we make it. Gotta wait for the snowstorm, which is uh, very exciting. There's so much to look at. We can see so many cool things. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe if I fight the reindeer right outside the house, the Rampart Golem won't aggro? That might be manageable. I do hand. The thrust attack seems to do okay. Uh, make sure I don't aggro the dudes in the... Okay, we're gonna get another reindeer. We're gonna get another one. I hear him. I couldn't react to that. Thank you. Very cool, very fair, very nice. Then he does that. Let's see. I'm just gonna tap off. Top off. Why do I say tap off? That's something else. I shouldn't... That's... That's another thing. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I don't think I am. Where's the house? Is it this way? I think I got turned around. Okay, here it is. Okay. If I... Okay, if I fight him here... God, that weird delay. That's not what I meant to do. We're gonna die. Chug. Kill it? Okay, that one's down. That one's down. Wait for the snowstorm to pass. I'm gonna use a monastery charm. Just to top off. Alright, I don't want to go in the house because there's a rampart golem. I don't want to go too far because I might spawn a reindeer. We're just gonna wait it out. Hiding, uh... I heard something. We're just gonna hide here for a bit until the snowstorm passes. Alright, it passed. Now we just make a beeline and pray. I think we're gonna get at least one more. I feel like you get like three here. I feel like that's a thing that tends to happen, is you just get like three of them right here. But we're almost we're so close. So close. This is usually pretty safe once you're like past this little trench. Oh yeah, there's this like precarious ice bridge. 
But usually we're pretty safe. They don't spawn here, thank God. We might be alright. We might be okay. I think we're okay. I think we're home... We're, we're home free. Alright. Okay. We have six Estus. That's not the best. But we have 15 Radiance. Old Radiance. And we have three Mushrooms. Do I have anything? Do I have a Bright Bug? Two Bright Bugs. Alright, let me hydrate really quick before we start. Because this might take a little bit. Okay, we have bright bugs. That's good. That's the one upside to not summoning. Because if you if you summon, you can't use your bright bugs. But if you don't, you can use them, and they are quite powerful. So hopefully, they will help us a little bit. Hopefully, that doesn't clutter our pool belt too much either. But we have enough heals. I don't think it's too bad. All right. Okay, and we do this. All right, I can't buff because I have my weapon infused, right? Right, 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 right. All right. My, how are my rings? Got my rings. Gonna pop a bug. I think we can use another one if it runs out, maybe. But we have to actually get a chance to do that mid-fight. All right, let's try this. Let's see how this goes. All right, hopefully they're not resistant to dark because they are... Uh, did that really hit me, my man? I don't know about that one. Okay, we might. Are we already gonna die? We might already die. Hope not. Okay, we do. Okay, tiger damage. All right. Oh, he's doing his Nova. That's interesting. Smash. All right. I don't remember when the other one wakes up. But uh, yeah, the other one will wake up, and that's not good. I just gotta try to... I mean, I can't really burst... I was gonna say, I have to try to burst him down, but that's not really something I can do. I was doing... Oh, I didn't think he... Oh, I forgot they do this. They do have this to move. That's right. I was thinking they didn't for some reason, but they do. The other one waking up. I hear him, like, roaring. Oh, he woke up. Oh, that's not what I want. Ignite. Oh, I can't burst... Him. Oh, did my bright bug wear off? I feel like the bright bug might be gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, burst him. There we go. We, okay, I did burst him down. I can't see what the other one's doing. Okay, now I can. If he's gonna start healing, I think, now. We might just have to... Oh, is he gonna start healing? I know they do that. I think... I thought it was when one of them died. Maybe because we didn't... Maybe because we didn't hurt this one, he's not gonna do it. But he might do it later. I'm not sure. Uh, what is he doing? Okay, he's doing the roar. That's good. That's what we want, because I can punish that. Bin? No, his regular two hit. Alright. Oh, uh, that's a grab. That's a scary grab. Oh, he's doing the spin. I thought he wouldn't do the spin, but he did the spin. A chug to be very, very safe. What's he doing? Roar? Okay, wait. Oh, there's the regen thing. I don't know if that does anything. Oh, my sword's gonna break. Oh, that buffs his damage, too. Oh, that buffs his damage big time. Oh, okay. I might need my Alon sword, because my other sword's gonna break. It does not do nearly as much damage, though. Or maybe that's also a defense buff? That might be also a defense buff. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I kind of want to use a repair powder, because that does not a lot of damage. Oh, God. Grab. I don't know if I can get a repair powder off. That's well, I probably could, but I had to like go into my menu and stuff. And I know he's healing, so it might be, seem kind of like, why are you attacking him? It's because it does, it does help. It's not gonna regen all the way. Ow. Oh no, I might need to heal again. Probably heal again just to be very, very safe. As long as I get an opportunity, like right now. We're just gonna use all of our old radiance. So this is what we were saving them for. for. This exact fight. Oh, that did give him a defense buff. All right. Roar. That's not bad. There we go. That was not too bad. The outskirts were much worse. Oh, thank God. 
That wasn't so horrible. And they give you one of the coolest great swords in the game. Probably not going to use it though. It looks on this character. But it is one of my favorite weapons. It's also very pretty. Okay, that was the hardest thing we had left. It should be smooth sailing from here. Maybe. Right, is there anything else we need? No. Well, kind of. Kind of, sort of, but... Mm, I don't know. We could go... Yeah, let's go back here. We're going to have to come back here anyway, but... We'll, I don't know. We're going to do this first, I guess, for no real reason. Oh, and I can unequip these now. We don't really need them. Uh, oh wait. Dragon head. Where is it? There it is. And then let's put our radiance back up, because why not? We'll just do that. And we're just going to run through this, because we've already done it like eight times. Alright. We're going to run through this too. Yeah, this does save us some uh, more backtracking. Otherwise, you'd have to do this. Ow. There we go. Uh, three, like three times minimum. Very silly. Oh my god, there's so many icicles. Still not as bad as the frigid outskirts, though. Not even close. Ow. Still a little bit annoying, but it's not nearly that bad. Okay, there we go. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to chug. This area uh, might also be a little bit of a problem, but maybe not. I guess we'll see. This area is hit and miss. Sometimes it's a cakewalk, other times it's a nightmare. I think it largely depends on your build and weapon. Oh no. Not the hedgehogs. Oh, they're so, so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, they're like the bone wheels, but maybe a little bit worse. Because they hurt you if you're, like, touching them, even a little bit. I feel like they might be a little bit worse than the bone wheels. I think they are. Alright, how many more are there? There's another one. Hi. Can you have mercy? They're also very... Ow. That does so much damage. Oh, and there's Hexer Nikolai. He's kind of a douche. I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah, he's like up there. Oh, wait. Oh, he's coming down. Okay. Yeah, sometimes he he's weird. Sometimes he likes to stay up there. Sometimes he comes right down to you. Oh, yeah, that was Splintering Lightning Spear. What is that? Oh, is that... What is that? Oh, that's Promised Walk of Peace? Or wait. What did he do to me? I don't know what he just did. I think it is Promised Walk of Peace, because I can't sprint. Wait, wait, can I sprint? Okay. Oh, that's a very scary spell. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, he has a lot of, like, those big old... That's a Sunlight Spear. Okay, he's very resistant, isn't he? And he has big poise. Yeah, Heavenly Thunder is, uh... Uh, that's a sneaky spell. That one's a little scary, too. Basically a Wog. I think this might be faster than Wog. But it costs souls to use. Oh my god, stop hiding by the bunnies. What spell is that? Because I can... I don't know what spell that is. Wait. Oh, maybe... Okay, that is... Promised Walk of Peace, isn't it? That makes us heavier. Nikolai, why are you so tanky? You're not wearing big armor. Oh no, what is he doing? Oh, he... Oh, I forgot he had heal miracles. Also, tree, go away. What are you doing? You're a tree. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Okay, that broke his poise at least. What is it? What? Oh, not Heavenly Thunder. Yeah, so the thing with Heavenly Thunder is like, it's like Wog, but imagine if Wog could randomly hit you multiple times. That's Heavenly Thunder. Healing again. 
Oh my god, he's so annoying. Stop using Heavenly Thunder. What are you doing now? He's just doing that again. He is so... like, resistant. Actually, it's not even res He just has like a billion health. Ow. Oh my god, look at him, like... Stop healing. Come on. Oh, wait, what? He... wait. Did he block that? Or did I hit the thing? I think I just hit the thing, but it looked like he blocked it while he wasn't blocking. Alright, there's more rabbits now. Oh, I could probably use a lingering flame here. That might work. Hey, I one shot him, yay. Alright, there's only eight more of them. It's so frightening. And then you have the snipers, too. The snipers don't hurt that much, thankfully, but they are kind of scary. And they deal magic damage. But their soul spheres are very pathetic. It's like the worst soul sphere ever. Okay, he heard me talking smack. And he... He cast a big soul sphere that time. Oh, boy. What is this item? Magic stone. Oh my god, we might actually not finish this today. We only got a half hour left or so. This is going to be a very short Dark Souls 2 stream next time, then. Uh, I don't know. I should probably think of, I don't know. I always need to think of stuff to talk about. And the, the weird thing is, I always say this. Like, between streams, I think about it a lot. Like, oh, what should, I should talk about this when I stream, or... Talk about that. And then, then I always like, wait, what was I going to talk about? I don't know. My head goes empty. I also chicken out a lot. It's like, I don't... It's like, eh, people are going to find that boring or whatever. I just try to, like, talk about the game. But I always run out of stuff to say about the games. Not the, I mean, there's a lot that you can say about DS2, but... Mostly, like, it's... To me, this is a comfort game. Like... That might sound weird, because it's like, how is Dark Souls a comfort game? But, it's like, I don't know. Dark Souls 2 is just my happy place. Even if I get frustrated with, like, frigid outskirts, it's like, yeah, it's fine. It just has a unique vibe to it. And it's... I know a lot of people don't like this one, and I get why. I think some of the complaints are kind of, like, not the best, but a lot of them are legitimate, and I recognize that. Hi, Maldron, you're the best. I, I, I like the I like Orheim a bit better than you, but you're also top tier. See? No. Oh. Oh, hi, tree. Why are you here? I was having a moment with my, with my dude. With my man. Oh. I, okay. So Maldron is very smart. And I don't fully know how his AI works. At a certain point, he backstabs you. And uh, we we found out what happens last stream. What happens when Maldron backstabs you with that big ol' lance. It doesn't end well. Um, You can try to hit him here and he'll eventually get frustrated and leave. But. Like. You hit, you try to swing, and he, he's like, he just like, he doesn't, he hesitates. And I, I think if you do land a hit, he does like, start running. But like, he really, he's committed to this for a while, if you, unless you like, really keep swinging it. Oh, okay. He got impatient. I wonder, is it timing based too? Maybe that's it. Yeah, Maldron's AI is an enigma to me. I don't know, I... I don't know how much work they must have put into it. It feels like they put a ton of work into Maldron. And it it's very he's very he's super memorable. Like it was not wasted work. Everyone knows Maldron. And he has no dialogue or anything. He has no quest. He's just a dude. Everyone knows him. 
He's like such a dick bag, but like everyone loves him. Because everyone has run into this guy. But as a player. Everyone has seen an actual mall drawn before. And it's great. He's it's glorious. Look at him look at him go. Look at him go. He's I think he has infinite stamina, sadly. He goes there to hide, but he yeah. He hides there by the uh, by the rabbits and everything. Oh, he's so he's such a good character. And yeah, he moves if he if you get line of sight on him. He'll, he'll yeah he'll change his hiding spot. Like no damage from that. Oh, is he gonna fight me? Wait, he's fighting me again. Whoa, wait. I don't remember him doing this. He's fighting me again. Oh, there he goes. There, now he's running again. Oh, he's trying to lead me to more rabbits, but I killed those rabbits. And he throws acid at you. Oh, he's the best. We almost got him down. Oh, we almost got him. Oh, but I don't have stamina. I ran out of stamina. Is he gonna... I think he... He died from fall damage. I've never seen that. Honestly, you could say, oh, his, I was just praising his AI and he died from fall damage. I feel like that makes his AI even better, because that's what would happen to, like, an actual player. They would totally die from that fall thing and it, it wouldn't hurt them. Like, they, I would, I would do that. That's a mistake I would make. He's so good. I should do a Maldron cosplay one day. But his weapon is such a pain in the butt to get. I've seen a Dark Souls 3 mall drawn, which obviously you can't get the exact right armor, but you can kind of do it. It kind of works, and as long as you have like the big shield and the lance and the name, I think everyone will know who Maldron is. But the problem with doing a Maldron cosplay is that if you're not playing like Maldron, are you really committing to the bit? And do you really want to play like Maldron? Probably not. I wouldn't want to do that. Is there an invisible tree man? I guess not. Maybe? Oh, I think he already aggroed us. But I don't know. I feel like if you do a Maldron cosplay and you play as Maldron, I don't know if people will get that mad at you. It's like you're 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 doing the thing. But still, it is you are being toxic, but in a fun way. Yeah, the other funny thing about Maldron is, like, aside from how much work they must have put into his AI, like, they really, like, know the player base. It's like... I don't know. Like, they must have played the game, right? And done, or, like, done invasions themselves to get inspiration for Maldron? He's so accurate. He's so dead on. I really... It, he's very impressive. And sadly, they never... They never brought back the NPCs like that. I mean, they you know, they all have, like, the fake invaders, but... They never brought back, like, the special AIs for them. And, like, Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring or Bloodborne. And it's sad, because it's such a good idea. And they're so memorable. Everyone knows Orheim. Even if they don't know his name, they they remember his invasion. Same with Maldron. Everyone knows him. It's sad they never did it again. And you wouldn't just want like repeats of those two, but still, they could do other things. But nah, sadly not. Maybe in Olden Ring 2. But then again, I guess it didn't really happen in vanilla Dark Souls 2, so there's always... You can always hope for it in the DLCs. If there is a DLC, there might not be. I don't know if they confirm that there will be or not. Oh, hedgehogs. Hedgehog's scary. I don't like the hedgehogs. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm gonna get surrounded by them. Okay... Ow. God, they hurt so much. Heal, because I don't trust that. That's not... That's that's danger. That one shot him. Alright. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? 
I don't... Like, there's probably going to be an Elden Ring DLC, but they, I don't know if it's been confirmed or not. And there wasn't a, Sek a Sekiro DLC. So, I don't know if it's a foregone conclusion. As much as I always, you know, ER lives rent-free in my brain and I always whine about it, I do hope there's a DLC. And I hope they keep trying to improve it. I just... That's another thing, too, because, like, DL... or Dark Souls 2, and even Dark Souls 1, like... In my opinion, I'm not a big fan of Dark Souls 1. But the DLC bosses are amazing. I don't like any of the vanilla bosses very much, except for, like, their concepts, but... The DLC bosses are, like, super fun. They're really, really good. And obviously their lore is good, but, like... The gameplay is, like, 10 out of 10. Like, all three of them are just awesome. So hopefully that'll be the case for Elden Ring. Hopefully. Oh, height. He's so small, it went over him. Alright, these guys are neat. Where? Oh, oh, oh no, he was in range of that? Yeah, so if you kill an enemy too close, they get their soul and they come to life. I don't know where these guys are here, because they're like... They're like the golems at Dragon Lake Castle. They're also in the ending. They make you a bridge. But it's weird that they're here. And I don't know what that means for the lore. Then again, the the, uh, the frozen flower that lets you in here is also in Dragon Lake Castle. I don't, I don't know, they're probably connected in some way, but I don't know how. Alright, and I think if you kill a golem next to another golem, they also get the soul, I think. So they can, like, swap around the soul, which is kind of neat. Oh no, he, he rolling. Oh, that doesn't one-hit him. This might actually work a lot better. I wonder if they're... Oh my god, it went over his head again twice. Two of them went over him, that's so frustrating. Oh, I don't like it. They're so small. Oh, he kicked the shit out of me. That was a... These guys have such odd proportions. They're kind of uncomfortable. They're... I don't know, they're like... They're not Uncanny Valley, they're just very odd. They have such little legs. But they got such long arms and such a big torso. I think we're... are we in the... no, there's more of them. There's more of the little rabbits, that's right. Are they rabbits or hedgehogs? I don't know what hedgehogs' ears look like. I don't think they have big ears. I think they're rabbits. Yeah, they got the big old teeth. I think they are rabbits. They're very, very ugly rabbits, but I think they are rabbits. Yeah, I think they are. Alright, okay, he, cool, he wasn't in range. Can I smack you? They do take- wait, I didn't know you could hurt them when they were like this. I probably did and I just forgot. I, anything happen if I kill you? Do I get anything? Oh, you get souls for killing them still, that's interesting. And this guy's awake, alright. Yeah, I forgot you could do that, I thought they were invincible. When they were not awake. Oh, don't stomp on me. Oh, I'm out of Estus. Oh, shh. That's not good. That's not... I didn't realize I was going through so much. I guess, had, yeah, I guess this has been a long trek, hasn't it? We got Maldron. We got Hexer Nikolai. A unique falling animation. That's interesting. I wonder how many enemies have that. I wonder if this was a cut enemy. Maybe it was supposed to be in the base game? They are, like, sort of in the base game. You just don't actually fight them. I know the Bone Fist uh, moveset was in the base game. It was just, like, a cut thing. My, kind of, my assumption with the Bone Fist was that maybe originally it was supposed to be, like, the Vanquisher Seal moveset. But, I don't know. This is my theory. I don't really have anything to base that off of. It's kind of just conjecture on my part. 
What was I talking about? I was talking about something else and don't remember what now. I always do that. Uh, hit stun. Thank you. Yeah, that, like, sweep with their big old lance arm is very scary. I don't remember what I was talking about now. Oh well, it's fine. It probably wasn't that interesting. There's more of them. Hey, we're gonna pop another Radiant because we don't really need them anymore. Uh, we killed the Tigers, which that's what we uh, were saving them for. So we're just gonna use them all. Not like their little giggle. They laugh at you. They know how annoying they are. They 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 just mock you. Oh what? He like his tail got stuck in the wall. Uh, I think I was whining about Elden Ring again. That's probably what I was doing. I do that a lot. I do that a lot because I am invested in the game. And it is like the current game. But, I mean, if I didn't care, or if I didn't think the game could be really, like, good, wouldn't, like, whine about it so much... Like, I think it could be very good. There's just a lot of stuff they need to sort out, and I hope they will. Because there's, there's potential there. And I've mentioned it before, when Dark Souls 2 came out, I hated it. I thought it was horrible. I went right back to Dark Souls 1. After the game got patched a bunch, uh, I absolutely adore it. So yeah. But did he... what the hell? He blocked my, like, backswing that wasn't the backswing. I didn't... Okay, that was actually kind of impressive. Uh, I should probably be annoyed, but I'm actually just kind of impressed. That was actually kind of... That was kind of sick. On their part. Let me heal again. I'm still healing it. That was a waste. I still had it up. Don't heal in front of me like that. I mean, I, I know what it did to you, but don't do it to me. It's rude. It's only okay when I do it. I think that's also probably why I talk about Elden Ring a lot when I play Dark Souls 2, because there's a lot of parallels. I mean, obviously they're the same... Basically the same series, but... I feel like it has more parallels with Dark Souls 2 than any of the others. How open it is, and... I don't know. Alright, there's one knight out of like 16. There's three, but still. There he goes. Their armor looks so cool aside from their weird helmets. They actually look a lot like the uh, the Ruin Sentinels too. At least with their helmets. The rest of their armor, nah, not so much. They're not as lanky either. Oh, I missed the snowball killing all the dudes. I forgot about that. I should have watched it. My bad. I forgot to watch that. I was in, like, thinking. Hey, you knock the snowball down and it gets super big and kills all the dudes in the way. I have an interesting item over here. That I don't see a lot of people use, which is odd, because it's actually quite good. It's just sort of niche. Uh, I think it's here, at least. Yeah, it's all staff. If I remember right, maybe I'm thinking of a different staff, but I think it's this one. Where is it? Azal staff. Yeah, so if you see, it has four durability. I believe you can cast four spells with this thing before it breaks. But, uh, can I see the spell buff? Wait. What the heck? Uh, it's casting speed. Casting speed is very low. Wait, what? Wait. Uh, green leaf says if I spell. Oh, right, right, right. So this is like the um, the uh, the crystal catalyst from Dark Souls One, or whatever the glintstone staff is in Elden Ring. So it breaks very quick. I think you can cast like maybe two to four spells with it before it breaks. It also decreases your spell usage. Um. But it gets, like, super... Yeah, it has a base S scaling, kind of like the Staff of Wisdom, but it gets even crazier when you fully upgrade it. 
Uh, so this does like super insane damage. But you know, it also, it's also very slow. The casting speed is terrible, actually. But if you wanted to cast like a homing soul mass before a fight or pursuers, I think it works with uh I think it works with hexes. Uh yeah, it does just absolutely insane damage. I don't see anyone use that staff, which is weird. Heavy? It's not very heavy. But I guess you do would have to like go into the menu to swap back to your like your staff of wisdom or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a very it's a underused Pretty strong thing, actually, that no one ever uses. I guess nobody wants to like go back and repair their weapon every time. That'd be very annoying. Um, that's what we need from here, right? I think so. Yeah, we we can do that. Oh my god, we're not gonna finish this tonight. I was wrong. I thought we would, but we're not even at the main boss of this DLC yet. We got a little bit more to do. Um, yeah. How many more knights are left? Oh, there's one in here. Oh yeah, we gotta get the one in here. We gotta get the one in this path. Okay, yeah, we got more stuff to do. We're not gonna finish this tonight. I Wow, we have... This DLC is very long. We did. Lunkin King and Iron King in like the same stream, I think. I think that was all one stream we did both those. Granted, that was also a much longer stream. That the six that was in the six hour one. That was like what? Five? No, wait. I'm trying to remember. That was the one where we did the no hit. That's gotta be like It was like between three and four hours, I think. Maybe it was closer to four. No, it was closer to four. That's right. Four to five. Because we did the other game before that. That's right. We're just gonna run past these dudes, because we already killed them like eight million times. There is a cool hat over there, though. But I can't show the hats anyway, so, eh. Is this the right way? I always forget where to go here. I think this is the right way. The city is a little bit of a maze, but I do kind of like this part. You just kind of go explore more of the city. But god, are there so many enemies. Is this something neat? Priest time plus eight. That's neat, I guess. You know... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't run through. It feels kind of lame. But also, look how many of them there are. That's too many dudes. It's it's what's up here? Wait. Is there just like an item up here? I don't remember. I think there's a rampart golem up here. Wait, is this is oh it's a shortcut. Wait. Where does this go? Wait, where am I? Oh I'm here. Oh. I forgot that was here. That's actually not a terrible shortcut. It's not great. It makes a little bit of a difference. Hi, Ice Rapier Man. Wow, why do they... Yeah, he took two, like, three hits. That's weird. Maybe I'm not getting counter damage? Hey, that's why I was two-hitting him before. I don't know. Oh, you are scary. You have ice on your back. Ow. All right. Oh, there's the Rampart Golem. There he is. I knew he was here somewhere. Is that his grab move? No, his grab move looks different. I thought it was his, like, little ice crystal range thing. Is that his grab? No. His grab looks more funky. He does, like, a weird pose. Oh, please. No icicles. These guys are very, like, hourglass-shaped. It's kind of weird. I guess all the DLC enemies are. Especially those guys, I feel. The dogs. Yes, there are many dogs. Okay, we have fire. And also lingering flame. Alright. Oh, dog. Whoa, I forgot there were dogs there, too. That's me oh, that's four dogs. That's too many. That's way too many dogs. And there's even more behind us. Ooh, wait, is that a Sonic Mimic? Is it? No. I'd see the teeth. Is it a trap? No. It's not really anything, though. 
All right, let's just top off. I'm saying it right now. I'm not saying tap off. That's something else. That's something that I probably shouldn't be saying. A little gross. And it was not intentional. Is there one? There's a dog behind the boxes, isn't there? Of course there is. Dog knows to hide. There, there's also one in the doorway. I forgot about the one in the doorway. Where's my lingering flame? There it is. Yay! Best spell. We might get to the boss. I don't know if we're gonna have time to kill him though. Oh, this is actually a good shortcut. I don't remember where this leads to. But this is a good shortcut. I think. Wait, where are we? Where does this go? Wait, where are we? We're... oh. We're here. I guess that's kind of... Uh, yeah, if you go to that bonfire over there, there's no enemies in the way. Kind of weird, though. But, alright. Alright, let's try this again. We are going to get invaded again, but it's not going to be as fun as Maldron. Or Orheim. This one's kind of boring. Where is she? Oh, she's over there. Yeah, so she is kind of a douche. She tries to lead you over to the Rampart Golem. But, uh, we're just going to lure her over here. She does try to run back to him if you hurt her enough, too. But, eh. Here she comes, very slowly. Oh, she's not going to... Like backing off, but we're gonna just cut her off. Yeah, she's not very tanky, thankfully. Her fashion isn't bad, though. No. There we go. Yeah, we just stopped her from running away. Because she's kind of annoying. But she's not as bad as, like, oh, even Nikolai is honestly more annoying than she is. Alright, hello, Rampart Golem. Oh, that was too early. Oh, no, that's the grab. Yeah, his grab is pretty cool looking. Also hurts. Uh-oh. Can I just backstab you again? All right, let's try this again, but not do it too early. There we go. I did it right. All right, there's the, okay, there's only three of these knights. That's right. Their helmets are so weird, but the rest of their armor looks so awesome. It's such a nice looking set, just like their sword. Their sword is so nice looking. The shield is okay. I'll probably grit that and show it off, because it is a pain to get it, because you have to go to the Bridget outskirts to get that thing. Uh. Also, if you want the Bone Fist and you don't have the DLC for the original Dark Souls 2, uh, you do have the option of farming the frigid outskirts because the reindeer will drop it for phantoms on a very rare occasion. But I don't think anyone wants to do it, even for the bone fist. I think we go to... Horn uh, effects again. I think she has, like, all the DLC items, which is very strange. For me, it's not strange and there's a logic to it, but I don't know. I don't know if there's a pattern to, like, who gets what items. There might be. But I don't know what it is. Maybe Strayed gets all the, like, kind of regular souls, and she gets all the, like, great ones, and... Crown-related ones? I didn't... Eh, I don't know. Alright. Oh, we can get the Ivory Strayed Sword, too. That's also a neat weapon that we don't have the stats for. Yeah. Thankfully, you don't have to pick, because you get both souls, so... Blood Soul gets you the sword. It's amazing. And, uh, Zalan gives you the shield, which has a passive regen effect on it. So if you want to do a regen build, that's kind of necessary. This is not a bad looking shield. Let me get out of here and I will try to show it. I think the stats on it are also pretty good. You know, for a shield with regen on it. I don't think it does 100% block, but... It's close. Oh, only 60. Eh, the stats are kind of not great. Oh, let's see. I can only really take off the white ring. It's not the... Eh, I don't know. It's okay looking. It's not like it's ugly, but... It gives you regen. And then... Can I show this or will it not work? Oh, it doesn't work. 
Anyway, this is a, a laser sword, but it only works if you have 40 decks. And it has no scaling. It sounds like this weapon is really terrible. Um, it's not good. It does look... It is very, very cool, though. I mean, it doesn't look that... I mean, it looks kind of cool now, but... Uh, when you swing it with the right stats, it does have a laser. For some reason, it deals strike damage, but that's fine. Uh, oh, I can show this, too. We have it, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's kind of... It doesn't look sharp. It looks kind of neat, but it doesn't look very sharp. But it is pretty. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. So if you're two-handed, you do get the, uh... You get that. It has, like, a slightly altered version of... Wait, maybe that's a normal one. But yeah, that's neat. Otherwise, the heavy attack has spells. Which is cool. Here's the... This is also pretty normal. It has, like, the same old moveset, but it looks really neat. I like this weapon. Uh, and then what else? Did I get this thing and not try to use it? Or maybe I did try to use it. I did try to use it, that's right. It does that. Which is fine. Where's the other one? The other thing. There it is. Yeah, this sword is really cool. It looks super good. It's not boring, but it's not, you know, super out there either. Uh, the one hand moveset is kind of unremarkable. But it's a special, like, stance. I think this is, like, how it looks when you have two-handed straight sword. Yeah, it looks very nice. Very stylish. And the moveset is unique. I'm trying to remember. That's a straight sword heavy attack. I don't remember what the follow-up is. Maybe it's a... I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, the heavy attack is amazing. Yeah, that's very good. It also looks very cool. Yeah, 10 out of 10 weapon. This weapon is fantastic. Uh, but we have a more fun... We have the more silly greatsword, so we're gonna keep using that. I also don't have the dragon bones. I have no dragon bones, so that's out of the question. Alright, let's get the last night, though. Because we're probably almost done here. Sadly. So I guess we'll save all the final bosses for next time. But we're still gonna do this first. Maybe not. We might have another hour. I'm not... Mm, I'm not sure. We're just gonna run through all this because we already did it and boy is it a lot of enemies. I usually just run through here the second time. Though there is another actually a cool... There's a very cool weapon here. I can remember how to get to it. Oh yeah, the, the retainers actually have voices. Sound kind of neat. I think they talk backwards. Is it just like the, um, the dragon... They're not... What are they called? I forgot what they're called. Ow. Please don't be mean. No bully. Let me open this door. You douche. Please die. Thank you. Open. Open before they... I don't know if they're still chasing me or not. They might be. Have a nice rapier. Ooh, already at my gem. All right, there's the last knight. Can I break his chair? I don't want to try to risk attacking him. I don't think you can hurt them, but still. Oh, I can't break his chair. The shortcut is actually kind of nice because it leads you right to the uh, the boss room. So if you do this night last, and you don't want to explore down there anymore, it's a pretty good route back to the actual boss. But I do want to try to get the weapon from here. I don't remember how to get it. I think you go this way and you end up like up in that little platform somehow. I think. Because this is a fake wall, I believe. Flame butterfly, isn't it? Or do I... Mm... There's something here. I don't remember where it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's not easy to see. And there's no messages because this is the servers are still dead. Oh, I forgot to put the white ring back on. Oops. Not that it's important, but you know, fashion. Oh, is this oh, it's right up here. Okay. Oh, we're gonna kill this dude though. Let me top off. Okay.
Almost there. Okay, it's right here. I believe this is it. I think. Unless it's in one of those. I don't think it is. Hopefully it's in here. Fire clutch. Oh, it's in one of those, isn't it? I don't want to go through all that, though. Maybe I should. Can I just throw fire at him from here? I might... Mm, wait, oh, I gotta put my fire on. Alright, let's try. I missed. I missed a big old giant stationary target. I go down here and hope. Where's gonna... Oh, that's a dude. Oh no, I kind of want to... Kill these things because they're gonna wake up if I. It... Oh my god! So I didn't think he, she was still there, but she is still there. I lure them down here, maybe. I don't think there's anyone else now. So if I lure them down here, it might be okay. But he likes to just cast his icicles up there. All right, let's see. Oh, that was bad. There we go. All right, so that's one down. And there's the little, the caster lady. But I don't want to get rid of these. I don't want them coming to life. There's two of them down. Right, this might be alright. Oh, they, they woke him up. because Okay, so they don't, okay. That makes sense, but I didn't really think about it. If you kill those two, uh, they come to life and they bring that one to life when you kill them because they die. Got it. I feel like that doesn't make a lot of sense because they don't have a soul. But, that might have been, like, a big pain to, like, implement. So, fair enough. Is this really it? I feel like I don't remember it being in this chest. Maybe it is. Oh, these guys are scary. That, what? Wait, he did, took 90 damage? What do you mean, 90 damage? I hit you with a big old thrust. Why did that do only 90 damage? I was right in front of him. Okay, that did three. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Wiggling Titanite, that's not bad. Is this the sword? Is this it? Hopefully. Curve Mill Greats are. Alright, let's kill. Well, I don't need to kill the other guy. This is another weapon I can show off, though, because it's very neat. Oh, I don't have the strength to use it, that's unfortunate. So the sword is very ugly. Uh, it actually looks worth that worse without the white ring. Which is kind of weird because it's like covered in rocks and it looks like it might look really cool under the rock. But no. But it has a unique moveset. It's not actually that good, but it looks very... It's very neat looking. I like it. It's stylish. Yeah. It is that. It has a unique R1. And I don't... I don't think that's shared with anything, but I could be wrong. I don't think anything else has those moves. Part of their moveset in any way. But maybe I'm wrong. It also has that spin. That spin is actually pretty solid. Um, it's very quick and it has good distance. I think it's also isn't this special? It has like that slow version of it too, which is kind of not great, but it does throw people off. Um, the other thing is that this weapon has a unique. Oops, I almost unplugged my controller. Oh, I can't show it off. Sadly, yeah, I don't even have the stats to use it. Uh, this has a unique power stance, like spin move that I think is unique. Unless it's shared with the Warp Sword. I think the Warp Sword one might be slightly different. I'm not actually sure. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, it's a cool weapon. Also, the interesting thing about that weapon is that... Uh, what's the scaling on it right now? Oh, it's Yeah, it actually has decent scaling and damage right now. It's unupgraded. But, if it actually gets a bonus where the higher the new game plus cycle you go into... It gets stronger. I don't remember what it capped at. It might be New Game Plus 12? 9 or 12? Something like that? And naturally, Bonfire Aesthetics don't work for that. You actually have to go through the game all those times to get the bonus. Uh, the other weird thing is, is that... If you're hosting, or if you're not hosting... Uh, you don't get that damage bonus. So you have to be the host. So, ow. That means, uh, hold on. I shouldn't have come back down here. I don't know why I did. That was not a good idea. I should have just left, but I didn't. Uh, anyway, th this leads to weird. It's like a 50-50 shot, I think, for you to be in the arena and get your bonus. So it's kind of like not the best. 
And also, if you're doing, like, fight clubs, which sadly died before even the servers did, you would want to be the host. I guess you wouldn't really do the fight club, you'd just summon invaders. Or otherwise, it's based on, like, the host's new game plus level. That's kind of weird. But, yeah. Anyway, that's... I'm going to level up really quick. So that's all the knights we need. I guess we might have time to kill the Ivory King? I don't know if we're going to have time to kill the bo the last bosses, though. I guess we'll see. Maybe we might. It depends on how fast we can kill this dude. Uh, so let's find out. Another thing else, we can at least get one attempt off, because, I mean, we we might have to do a sport in ones. This fight can be kind of a pain. But I guess we'll see. We might just be good. We might be... Maybe we will finish it barely on time, but we'll see. We're not going to do the, the Loy Soul Farm. Uh, you do get the armor for that, and you get to talk to Alsana up close, but it's not worth it, so... I mean, it's kind of a neat idea to get people, like, to keep playing and helping other people and, like, give, you know, phantoms an incentive. But, yeah, it's kind of still painful. It's a neat idea, but I don't necessarily think it's a good idea. And I'm kind of glad they never did it again that I know of. Anyway, we need those four knights. There's, actually, we only need three of them. Wait, we only need three knights, but it is nice to have the extra. All right. Uh, these guys are a pain, but we do hit stun them, which is interesting. Kind of. Ugh, God. Okay, we gotta really watch our stamina here. Yeah, this fight can... I don't like this, because they have all... Well, most of these enemies have, like, very long-range sweeping weapons, and they can just attack through each other. It's kind of just like getting ganked. Like, actually getting ganked. It feels a bit frustrating. Especially if you're trying to farm these guys. Alright, we're getting one portal shut down. That's good, but wow, he seemed tanky. Awfully tanky. And sometimes they get hit stone, sometimes they don't. I don't know, man. I'm not big into this. It's a neat idea. It's kind of cool. Uh, Kind of... I don't know, man. I don't really like it too much. You, you just get all three of them on you, and it's like, ugh. Oh, there's actually four of them right now. That's frustrating. That missed somehow. Alright. All right. Yeah, all right, it's two down. I believe they also all spawn at the same time, but I could be wrong. I believe they... Yeah, oh, almost at the same time, at least. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, and I forget the priority for killing them, but some... Ow. Some of them are more annoying than others. Oh my god, that wow, that took a lot of hits, I feel like. Thankfully, we're getting another one shut down. That's good. We are killing them quite quickly. Uh, that's the nice thing about being so high level. Are you casting Fire Whip? No, just big old Fireball. Yeah, this can get more annoying if you can't kill them quick enough. Thankfully, we're only going to get one more at a time, which we might be able to deal with. Okay, here comes the big boss. So, something that I've never done, but you can't actually get the boss insta-killed. If you bring him over to this portal and the knight shuts it down and spawns the big old ice cube, uh, that will insta-kill the boss. I've never been able to do that, though, and I've, like, casually tried. Uh, we're not gonna do that, because nothing, like, special or cool happens. It's not like Sir Olan. But it is a thing you can try to do. And it will insta-kill the boss, unless they fixed it, but I don't think they ever did. Not the easiest thing to pull off. He's very mobile and he likes to move around, so. Not like a gimme. It would be with some bosses, but not this guy. Oh my god, he's so tanky. Are the hammer guys like super tanky? I feel like that might be a thing. Oh don't do not don't, don't, don't do that while I'm here. I don't I, that will insta give you too, I believe. I think it does. I yeah, think the other knight was tanking this guy. So that's a good thing about getting all the knights. You get someone to help you tank. And it doesn't, like, increase the boss's HP or anything. Like, summoning someone would. Now, since this armor looks pretty cool, it's, like, kind of ugly, but also kind of neat. But god, is it a pain to get. You have to get all the Loy Souls. It's... I don't know why. It's kind of frustrating. I feel like you should just be able to buy it like all the other boss sets when you kill them. But no, you have to get every single Loy Soul. 
Doing all right. This is too bad. Isn't so bad. He, he's a little scary though. His sword does have like infinite range. Oh, that was bad. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's a supernova. That's very scary. Is there a fireball item? Probably not. Yeah, he's kind of resistant to the fire. That makes sense. Tempted to do the whole combo there, but that would have been dumb and not worth it. Uh, ow. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit me. Have mercy. I don't want to restart again. Ow. I don't know the timing for that. He's doing it again. He knows. He knows I don't know how to time it. Attack the other guy. Come on. Okay, yeah, I still can't time it. He's doing the Nova. That's going to kill the knight. Oh, he survived. That kills the knight. Uh, okay, well, we got him. Hey, we might actually finish the game today. Soul of the Ivory King. I actually used to use his greatsword. It's actually very good. Uh, it's also kind of ugly looking, but it's neat. And we got the crown. Now I just have to not forget to talk to Vendrick. Uh, so I should do that right now, even if we run out of time very soon. That would be a good idea. All right. Yeah, that was it. We can go talk to Alsana, but she's not going to say much, so it's fine. This hasn't really been like a story run anyway. I've been kind of skipping a lot of it because I don't know how many people actually want to watch that. Probably not many because I don't know. All right. Talk to Vendrick before I forget. And then we just got the final bosses. And there's only two of them. We might be okay. We, I think we're going to be good to finish this tonight. Today. It's not tonight yet. It's only four. Actually, the cut. Well, it might be night. I actually, this might sound really stupid because I am in the U.S. But actually, one of the reasons I want to stream during the afternoons like this was for like. I don't know if this is sound really stupid or what, but it's just for like e like potential like viewers in Europe. Cause I think it's like kind of evening there for them. And then I do the other evening streams for like the like the U.S. audience. Maybe that's really dumb, but that was my thinking. Like, yeah, I'll do, like, two early streams and then two evening streams so people from both continents can watch. At hopefully good times. Maybe that's really dumb, but that was my thinking. Okay, let's talk to Vendrick. Hopefully, hopefully, like, doing the, uh, the opening the door thing didn't break stuff. I don't think it did, but it may have, but we'll find out, I guess. I think you do have to do this before you do the Aldi ending, but maybe not. Maybe you can do this, but this was what makes the Aldi ending cool. What do you see in the flames? Find the crowns and your own answers. I think we got the crowns, didn't we? Did I pick them all up? The strength of law. See, as befits you. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Did we get... I too sought... With you sought the... Oh, did we forget to talk to you? A lie. Seeker of fire. You know, it grows deepest. Flame. You <laughs> flame off flame. Yep. The father of the abyss spawn. Oh yeah, we killed uh what's her face? Confounded quintessence of humanity. Yep. The abyss once had form. Yeah, he died. And yet trace it each yep. fragment, thirsting for pop, my dear Chandra, was once. Yep, the queens are all parts of manus, which is kinda weird, but that's why they all look like dust, sort of. All right, here we go. Special cutscene. I thought there was more to it than that. But all right. Anything else? Nope, we just get kicked out. So the game doesn't actually tell you what that does, but you can kind of find out. If you wear any of the crowns now, uh, you cannot go hollow. So that's why this ending is interesting. So basically, this is probably, this is, I don't know why I'm explaining this when I skipped all the story, but I guess I will anyway, because I have nothing else to talk about. So, yeah, how do I, where do I start? I don't know. I don't know how to talk about lore. 
Uh, let's just go to the castle and I'll talk about it there. Like, obviously, you know, you're trying to get... Trying to cure the curse or find a way to escape it or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Aldia and the king were trying to do the same thing, but they sort of ran out of time and they both went hollow or whatever the hell happened to Aldia. Uh, so they didn't really work, but it seems like they were pre getting pretty close. They just didn't have enough time. But... They didn't have all the crowns. They they were susceptible to hollowing, like the king hollowed. God knows what the hell happened to Aldia. But, yeah, but if you have all the crowns, you don't go hollow, so you have all the time in the world. to figure something out. And that's pretty neat. We're not getting that. Wait, oh, there's, oh, there you are. That's her. The dragon gave me this name. For I was born with none. I was born of dragons. Yeah, so Aldia presumably made her. Presumably. By ones who would cause him fate herself, but they failed. Yeah, they failed. That's basically what I just said. You explain it better than I do, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shandera covered the flame. You want us to do the dumb ending. Well, we're not going to do that. You good? Yes, ellipsis. Yeah, I, she wants you to do the dumb ending for some reason. The really crappy one. That used to be the only ending. Uh, before Scholar? I'm trying to remember if you got the second ending. No, wait. I don't know if the second ending... Ex it must have, right? Did it? Oh. I don't... I think they did add Aldia in Dark Souls to the original. I think he got patched in at least. Pretty sure he did. I feel like I remember that. But yeah, and I think you can do this ending without the crowns. It's just sort of, if you do it without the crowns, it's basically just like the dark ending from Dark Souls 1. But yeah. All right, we're probably not going to use the our majestic greatsword. We don't even know. We got someone. Wait, who are you? Bradley of the Old Guard. I forgot you were here. And this is Vengarl. And this is Benhart. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna go in. We got this, probably. Let me take a sip. Anyway, this is why we killed the Throne Watcher and Defender, because otherwise you would get thrust right into this fight after killing him. And, uh, there's also another boss after her. Also, she looks a lot more like Nito than Manus. I don't. It, mm, kind of weird. Yeah, Nishandra kind of sucks. Um. Oh, the curse wells. Ugh, I don't like that. We're probably gonna get cursed here. It's gonna happen. Laser. Laser. That has a big ol' hitbox. It looks like it's not that big. It's bigger than it looks, trust me. I found out the hard way many a time. Anyway, Nishandra typically is not too hard. Typically. She might prove me wrong, but typically she's not too bad. Uh, actually, a lot of people hate this fight because it's so easy. But, uh, yeah. And Quinn isn't hard either if you know how to parry. I feel like they may have buffed her as well. I think they maybe made her tank here. That tech is very annoying. Oh, I forgot your weapon curses you as well. Oh no, we're gonna die. We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Yeah, as I was talking shit about how easy she is, there she goes. That was just me being dumb though. I should have waited for an opportunity to heal and I didn't. Uh, the shitty thing about this fight is now we have to wait for the freaking door to open again. I really wish those doors just stayed open when you opened them, but they don't. Very annoying. Where's the... where's the ring? Anyway, there's one boss after this, too. He's kind of annoying. He's kind of a douche. But, it's not too bad. We're gonna just... I don't know why I'm using an effigy, because he's she's gonna curse us anyway. But just for more health. So, I, I need to remember I have radiant life gems and all that good stuff. 
All right, now we have to open that door again. We have to run all the way back down here. Uh, yeah, it's it sucks dying to Nishandra, and it's not just because she's easy and it's embarrassing. Cause this run back sucks. It's not fun. It's very slow. It's a waste of time. Uh, yeah, I do like the, the stakes of America in ER. I think that's a good idea. Again, I I whine about the game. I can compliment it. It does do some things right. It has some really good ideas, and I think it has a lot of potential. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Let hope, let's not suck this time. Hopefully. Where are my souls? There they are. I don't. I'm not gonna use them ever. Oh, your freaking curse wells are so annoying. Where are they? Oh, it's, it's there. Why is it there? I can tell if I got... Hey, wait, she summoned four of them. I thought she always just summoned three. Oh, don't curse me. What's the music playing? Just throw fire at you. What am I doing? You're... Oh, dark... Dark laser. Oh, there's the music. Our fire isn't doing that well. Which is weird, because we do have 30-30, and our pyromancy flame is maxed out. I think it's just we're using Fire Orb. Isn't there like Great Fire Orb? I think there is. Uh, what are you doing, Laser? Uh, that's actually good. We can punish that with three hits. I feel like they made her tankier. Like, not recently by any means, but from release, I think they made her tankier. She used to be like a total joke. She was like Covetous Demon. And they did make Covetous Demon a bit tankier. Uh, I don't know. What do I want to use here? I don't know if Fire Whip is a good idea. Bushin might be. Yeah, you and your three hits. Okay, yeah, that's, that works pretty well. I think that does more damage than our sword. We'll just do that, because the other guy doesn't care about fire at all. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, Nova? Or, no, just Curse Wells. Got it. That was going to be like a friggin' Nova move. Break these. So annoying. Uh, okay. Oh, that's the Nova. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary-ish move. I think that is like a billion damage. Oh, stop it. I hate your three-hit move. Very annoying for some reason. I think it's just like the sweeping and the tracking on it. I can't get to hit in even though it feels like I should be able to. Or, well, it feels like I should be able to. I think that's... Is that what I said? I know I shouldn't be able to because it's not how the attack works, but I feel like I should. Uh, Lingering Flame, maybe? Question mark? I think the other thing I hate about that move is it looks so, like, not... It looks so, like, limp-wristed and half-assed. Like, she's not really trying to hit you, but she does it. I, I don't know. Feels like Queen, I guess. Ugh, Nova. All right, we got this. This is fine. Is she doing it again? Oh, Curse Wells. We can probably just kill her that way. There we go. Let's use an effigy really quick. I don't know if there's a cutscene or not. We're going to do a Rouge Water as well. All right, where's the dude? This might actually be a good weapon for this. Also, this isn't like Shanelot's voice. Over Aldia's or something? I don't know why. I don't understand it. It's very odd. But it's like not all of the lines. But like some of them, like to give us your answer. I was talking over it, sorry. I thought it would... I don't know. Uh, Alright, that's fine. Yeah, we're not going to throw fire at the giant fire tree. That's probably not going to work. But actually, wait, chip damage. Damage is damage. It does 60. Oh, spirit bomb. I don't remember how to dodge this. Does he just throw it at you? I don't remember. Oh, he does just throw it at you. Okay. I probably should have gotten hits on there because his fire drops. I forgot. I have not fought Aldia that many times, to be honest. As much as I love this ending. I usually don't, like, end up going to fight him. Okay, Spirit Bomb. This might be a bad. 
probably get out. I don't know how many hits I can get in there. Probably three, four? Oh, I can get more. Okay, I probably get like three, four, five hits in there. It's just, I'm scared of that. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. It looks like it'll do a lot. And it can't get close to him because you'll get burned. It's like the freaking the bunnies. Uh, telefrag. Wait. I forgot he telefragged you. Are uh, you for real? I didn't know it was there. I thought I had more space. I thought the arena was bigger. That was just sad. I thought I had more room. I didn't... Oh, my spatial awareness. Okay, to be fair, it's been a long while. I forgot the size of the arena. I thought it was bigger. It's not. It's actually a pretty small arena. Especially because Aldi is very big. I just thought it was bigger. I thought it was lots bigger. That's... Oh, that's sad. Alright, we don't have to fight Nashandra again. Oh, that's so dumb. That's embarrassing. I thought I had so much more room. I'm just dumb. Oh, that's real. That feels really embarrassing. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, hopefully, with less suckage. Oh no, that was horrible. That's very, very. That feels really embarrassing. Aldi is kind of a pain, though. He's very tanky. But... It's, 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 well, he's not even really that tanky. It's just hard to get hits on him. Unless you're, like, a mage. Or a hexer. That's not too bad, because then you could just, like, blast him. But if you're just a pyromancer, eh, He doesn't really care about fire, because he's on fire all the time. I do like that you could still hurt him with fire, though. At least a little bit. I, from what I heard, like, with ER, there's, like, bosses who are just flat-out immune to holy... Which is kind of, it makes sense, but it's also kind of annoying if you want to do a holy build. Okay, spirit bomb. One, two, three, four? Let's go with four. Oh, I can do five. I can probably do six. That, okay, that looks like it's going to be a lot bigger hitbox, but it's not. Alright. I should probably get my souls back for no reason. He's going to telefrag? No. I gotta, okay, I just got to watch out for that. Because now I know that he can do it. I don't know if there's a warning for his fire coming back on. No, not really. But it doesn't do too much damage. What's he doing? Oh, the jab? Wait, does those they'll come back up? Yes, they kind of do. He has tree. Roots tend to do that. Can I get, no, got greedy. But, okay. He got mercy. Telefrag? No, no, no telefrag. All right. This isn't going too bad. Two? Two, I can get two. All right, what's he doing now? Oh, the, the, the little things. These are annoying. Yeah, I don't like those too much. That's a lot of roots. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to chug. Have mercy. Oh, not again. Don't do this again. This ability is annoying. Stop doing that. Where's it? Okay, telefrag? Nope. Okay. I wonder if he actually doesn't telefrag you and he just happened to teleport exactly where I was standing. Wait, why am I getting so many hits in? What? Wait, what? Yeah, let me get many in. What are you doing? Oh, oh, now he's even more fire. I forgot he did that. Does his moveset change? Oh, was that a telefrag or does he just go there? I'm worried about his fire now. I'm gonna get out of there. I'm worried it's gonna do a lot more damage now. I think it does. What's he doing? Is this like the big old, the big old root? It's like fire snake, but with roots. Got it. What are you doing now? Was oh, this one? Just gotta watch the floor. And not get too close to the ledge, just in case. Can I get two hits? No! Nope, 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 nope. But, well, kind of. Where's he going? Telefrag? No. Okay. We're fine. Two hits? Can I get two? Can I get two? I can get two. Yay! Alright, what are you gonna do? Oh, this, this nonsense. I don't like this move. This move annoys me. And again, all right, that's kind of annoying. I can't really punish this move either, which makes it even more annoying. And three times. All right, dude, chill. Oh, what the fuck? You see that thing just going and going? All right, where is he? All right. Pop up, let me hit you. We might be able to get him. There we go, we got him. And I thought we wouldn't have time. 
But we did. That's neat. Yay, we did it. Something else entirely. I don't like this ending a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to talk over it. Oh, I forgot to equip the white ring again, didn't I? I think I, oh I did, didn't I? Did I forget to equip the white ring again? I think it's supposed to show up if you have it on. Maybe not. does sort of mimic the first thing too. Those are like the... I think they're like the decapitated primordial serpents? And yeah, that was Dark Souls too. Uh, can I skip this? Can't skip the credits, are you kidding me? Do you know how long these credits are? They're super long. It like plays them twice. Oh no. I wonder if I should just Alt F4. Should I just Alt F4 out of this? Listen, don't get me wrong. Like, the credits are important. I think they did a great job on this game. I genuinely do like it a lot, but oh my god, it's so much. I swear they play twice, too. I think there's, like, the original Dark Souls 2 credits, and then there's the Dark Souls 2 Scholar credits, which are, like, the same. But it's just, like, it plays it twice. And it's... Uh... Like, the the ending theme is good. I like it. It's really, like, nice. I think it has my favorite ending, like, theme out of any of the games. But, oh my god! Yuka Kitamura? Kitamura. Oh, my pronunciation is trash. Oh, are you going to be here all day? Maybe I should just alt F4. Like, that's the play, right? I don't know if it's saved. I guess it doesn't matter. Because we, we beat everything and we're not really going to come back to the save file. I mean, if we were going to... I might. I mean, I'm not opposed to... I'll probably stream Dark Souls 2 again someday. But I'd probably just start a new character. Instead of, you know, picking this one up and doing New Game Plus, because New Game Plus on Dark Souls 2 is actually pretty neat. Stuff does change, but, you know, not that much, and I'd probably rather do a new build. That's what I enjoy doing, typically. It's the usual ending theme. It seems a little different. I do like it. Is this usually what it is, though? I mean, I'm thinking, oh, you know what? I think I did it backwards. I think it's the Dark Souls 1 ending that I really love. I think it is. Yeah, I think I like the Dark... Yeah, it's the Dark... I was thinking of the Dark Souls 1 ending theme. That's the one that I really, really like. This one's just okay, I think? Or does it get turned different? Oh, wait. No, this is it. This is the one I was thinking of. This is the one. Nope, I was right. This is the one I love a lot. I love this theme. It's, I think it's like a remix or an arrange of the Dark Souls 1 ending theme. It's like a, I don't know, like a happier version of it slightly, I think. Yeah, I love this song. It's very pretty. This was the only good thing about like beating the game before they added the good ending. God, the other ending was terrible. But at least you got this song. Which is very, very good. I 
sadly, it does not actually last the entire duration of these credits because they are so long. I think even the original it didn't. I don't remember what plays instead. Maybe it's the Majula theme. Uh, it does change eventually. I have to like turn it up, but I mean, at least on my end, I don't want to do it on stream end. Yeah, I think this is just like an arrange of the Dark Souls one ending theme. It's just like slightly lighter and happier. I think. I'm really curious because I see the testers thing there. I wonder how many testers Elden Ring had. Not enough. But then again, neither did this game on launch, so. Yeah. Hello, Zay! Oh, I was right, it does play both credits. There's the original- oh my god, it does play double credits. Finished the game, did you? Yep, we actually finished everything. We killed every boss. So I just beat the last two and like the secret boss of the true ending. I guess it's not really the true ending, but it kind of is. And sadly, I cannot skip these credits unless I alt F4. They are unskippable. Cannot do anything. What if I hit escape? Nope, that doesn't work either. Yeah, you can't skip the cre May as well let them roll for the sake of credits. Yeah, the thing is that we already kind of... The weird thing about this game is that... It plays the Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin credits. And then after that, it also plays the original Dark Souls 2 credits. So there's just double credits. And I don't know how different they actually are. I feel like they should have just merged them into one. I do like this music anyway, though. As I talk over it and ruin it. I forgot which game it was that had like hours upon hours of credits. I don't know. That could be a lot of games. I, figured, I imagine it'd be one that got like was like a remake of a game. That's usually how it is, I think. I feel like I've probably heard of it, but I don't know which game that is, but I don't know. Probably a triple-A game. Or a remake of a triple-A game. Almost reminds me a little like Final Fantasy XII music. There's a bunch, it seems. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Now, Psychonauts two. Oh yeah, Psychonauts two does, but that was mostly because of the um the Patreon or not pa not Patreon the Kickstarter. Yeah, all the Kickstarter and backer names. I think that was mostly why Psychonauts 2 was so long. It's also kind of funny because all the voice casts are like the same between all of the Souls games and also Elden Ring. It's just always the same voice actors. It's like, um... It's like Elder Scrolls or Fallout. Bethesda games. It's always the same voice actors. Oh yeah, Miyazaki did supervise this game. He just wasn't the director. Oh, here we go. We're almost at the end, I think. There we go. 95. 
five. I don't even know what that's for. Oh, Lua program. Oh, it's all programming stuff. Okay, Kickstarter bad games seem to be in the category of long. Yeah, it's the all the, the, you know the the name and the credits thing is always like the first tier. I think so. It makes sense. Mighty Number no. Nine suffers from the same as Psychonauts too. I don't think that's the only thing Mighty Number no. Nine suffers from, but yeah. I like the way Undertale did it. They made it fun. The credits are actually very exciting in that game. I mean... I mean pizza, but yeah. Is that a pizza? Come on. Oh no, I didn't drop the chat. Pizza, yes. Yeah, there we go, and we're back here. Okay, I did have the white ring on, I didn't forget. Yeah, there we go. That was all of Dark Souls 2, except for the, the side quest, which I didn't bother with. So next time, um, because UT actually has gameplay in the credit. Wait, UT. Yeah, which, but yeah, that's true. Which you better predict for the secret area. Yeah, you better. Oh, God. Trying to do that is so painful because you have to go through all the ending stuff again every time. I would never do that. But, uh, yeah, next time, we'll Pokemon Sapphire tomorrow, but, um, in case anyone else is watching this, I can't really tell. Uh, I put a poll up on Twitter for either Dark Souls 3 Convergence or Code Vein. So, yeah, if anyone's here, or also Zay's, they can vote on it too if he wants. Uh, feel free to vote on that, or I'll just pick one. Either way. So yeah, next time we'll do one of those two if anyone votes. Or I'll pick one and it'll we'll just do yeah, either way, we'll do one of those. Alright, time to wait for this again. Because there's no exit to desktop button until Elden Ring. I don't know why. It'd be nice. Probably because they're all console ports. And they're not the best console ports ever, but it is what it is. to log into the server that doesn't exist anymore. Thanks for stream. Thanks you. Oh yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks to anyone else who tuned in. I usually do my... Oh, here. I usually wait till the end stream to sign off. There we go. There we go. Now I can sign off. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And thanks to anyone else who watched or tuned in. And thanks for anyone who might be watching the VOD. And if you're watching this soon, uh, yeah, you can go to Twitter and vote on what I play next if you want. Even if you're not going to watch, I don't mind. Go ahead and vote. Any anyway, yeah, tomorrow, Pokemon Sapphire. Um, yeah. Goodbye.